What is up, dudes? How you guys doing? Feel that music. <clears throat> yeah. What's up? <laughs> what? What's up, dudes? How's it going? <laughs> we got Dopey in here. So what? What were you up to, Dopey? Good, good, good. Harvested the fields, mowed the grass once, bailed all of the soybean bales, picked them up. Uh, I'm doing, I'm bailing the grass bales now so we can plant the other field with grass so it's all lined up with each other so that way we're on two different, like, grow cycles of grass. Okay, okay. So you need me to, you need me to plant the grass then, huh? Yo, what's up, Devin? What's up, Deadly? What's up, Grinder? Buddha? Ryan? And Joe, welcome you guys. Sorry, I didn't normally do my normal. I don't uh, have breakdown. Actually, if you want to start wrapping these, because these are 220s, these are going to silage. Okay. Roger that. Sounds good. We just got done with a six hour stream on YouTube, guys. So I'm a little bit like burnt today. And it's beer day. So, yeah, it's beer day. And yes, I did get the fertilization mod in. That's what took me so long. And I stopped over and was hanging, uh, saying, yo, what up to uh, the homies over on FS Club? See what they were up to. I was cracking a beer. Doing the doing, you know what I mean, bros? Alright. Hit if nine twice. Yeah, you need me to wrap, you said, huh? Yeah, because these other bales that I'm picking I'm doing now, they're going to silage because I've already got enough food for the sheep. Yeah, can you unplug your microphone and plug it back in? You're in that weird crackle again. I don't know what the hell that's going on with that, but Be the sure. microphone just taking a poop at itself. Uh, I'm not sure. It didn't. It didn't seem like they were harvesting beets. I didn't know if they were doing a big harvest or they were done, or or whatnot. But I mean, they generally don't do anything too crazy, right? Yeah, it seems to be okay now. What's up, Steve? They don't go, they don't go full send, full send, you know what I mean? So we are going to be putting in, we're going to be putting that field into this as well. I mean, you can merge it if you want, but I just don't like plowing clay, I would mess it up, so that's why I didn't want, I didn't do it. I'll plow it, it's no big deal, I can get that done. The biggest he's ever done? Yeah, I saw I saw the title. That's why I was like, "How many beats you guys at?" And then I was like, "Nobody, nobody." Everyone said hi, but nobody said how many beats they're at. So I was like, "Damn it! I want how many beats you guys are at." <laughs> they, they were harvesting corn or something like that. I don't know what was on. I was like, "These aren't beats." He probably just planted it. He probably hasn't been streaming for very long. Yeah. You want beats? I'll show you beats. Kind of funny right after you finished streaming gold rush it immediately threw me into his mm -hmm. stream yep he's gonna put it off for a couple hours well yeah because he, he gen generally the majority of his audience will come in a little bit later so you, you throw in some filler content and then uh you know well he usually plays more than one game sometimes Mm, it depend. It really depends on what everybody's doing. If it's if if it's farm sims boring, and boring them, they'll jump out and play something else, right? Well, lately you see him playing farm sims afterwards. He's like playing like Hunter Call of the Wild or like Fall Guys or mm -hmm. whatever else they play. Yeah, normally, normally towards the end of the stream, yeah, they'll play something else. Bow, 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 bow. Cold beers, dudes. Cold beers. Happy. I'm gonna need another beer already. 
for that gold rush session. I need another beer. I need beers. Beers, beers, beers. Why is there so many bales at this end of the field? Oh, you left the rows over here? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you. Go to the bathroom. I'll see. I'll, I'll talk, talk to you in a second. She's yelling at me as she's walking through the house. It's because I... I'm, I'm just, like, just go pee. Go pee. Oh, dude, it's been a long week, boys. Right? Next week won't be as bad, though. I can actually relax a little bit. And not have to be, like, worried about getting up and streaming at, like, 12 to 12. You know, get up and work on some other projects and stuff. Actually, take a little break, not have to talk as much. I just chill out, you know. Yeah, no doubt, dude. Beers, bros. Fridays. Let's go. Goal Rush freaking challenge has been completed. Well, all the digging part of it has. We just have the finale guest to clean up on Monday. So, that's good. Got a little bit of work to do on that tomorrow for Monday stream. Got a little bit of uh make sure you guys got some VODs over on YouTube as well. Thank you. Beer would be good, but I got to work tomorrow and the next and the next. Well, eventually you'll have a beer day. So eventually. Going to farm it out here tonight, guys. Just kind of chill. Hang out. Yeah, I picked up all the roads and then I started harvesting and then like I was driving through this field and I was like there's still four roads that were wind road that I never picked up, so I just like, rolled it and just like left it. Yep. I was like, I'll deal with it later. Yeah, so we got seven piles of um soybean bales. You got seven piles of soybean bales? Mm-hmm. Dang. That's what I was doing basically all day. Where are those things at? Not in the field beside us, but in the neighbor's field beside that. Oh, okay. Alrighty. And there's a couple of bales there on the side in between these two fields, but... Um, I actually made like two or three one eighties, and then there's um a two twenty up a soybean bale. Uh, all right, no big deal. No biggie. So we're going to I need to check a couple things here. So while well, we're just kind of chilling and bailing here, guys, take a look at the. Uh, Pigs are all over the place. They're creating a lot of slurry. That's great. We need slurry. Because guess what I got? I got the fertilizer pack. It's kind of fattened up over the last uh, couple months. Curious on how the sheep are still holding up. They're doing pretty well. They're still working off the same stack. And then, I mean, as far as like how much they're producing, as far as wool, because uh, let's take a look here. Uh, wool. There's no extra wool in there. And... The wool is 23,000, so, hmm. More sheet? No, I just, I don't think that that pen's going to be able to produce what we need, even though it has, it should. It's just the way that they stack the pallets out. I think we're losing them. It's really, really strange. I think we have to make sure we, we auto, don't just bump. We have to bump and then bump time to middle of the day. So they put out a maximum amount. 
Yeah, which I haven't been doing, so. So let's actually just take a look here. So if we we have our time right now. Let's go ahead and speed it up here real quick. What's up, Jack? How you doing today, man? Let's speed up some time here real quick and see if we can get some more uh, wool into the into the thing. Yeah, sorry we're a little late, guys. We had uh, to finish up the gold rush today. What's up, Master? What is up, Eric? How's it going, man? What's better to sell it in straw or make it into bales? I'm not. Does it really matter? I don't think it matters. It's just however you want to do it, right? I think. You just get extra. Yes, I did see that they added fish farms. Are you all good, dude? Good luck with your football practices and stuff, man, and your games this season, dude. And be, be safe, man. Be safe out there, buddy. You know what I mean? Now, I know how it is football, dude. Bales are loose. Yeah, it's the same. That's what I figured. It was the same. Yeah, it's the same. You just get an extra. Um, you just get extra money from other like, cause you get more money from the bales as well. No, no, no. You're no, thinking. No, no, not more money from the bales, but like, you know what I mean. Like, you can sell the soybean, and then you have the bales as well. No, that's not what they're talking about. You're completely. <laughs> they're just talking about the price between. That you don't get more. You're confusing yourself. He was asking if there's a difference between like the difference between the bales and the and the loose straw. No, there's no difference in price. Same is the same whether it's baled or not. All right, well, get destroyed then. I don't know, but don't be safe. Break a leg, I guess. I mean, <laughs> okay, sorry. You have a question for me? Sure. Shoot it out there, buddy. Don't don't have a good season, I guess. <laughs> Hope a big old 300 pound lineman just destroys you. I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I used to look at quarterbacks like, mmm, lunch. Yeah, it's going down, son. If you have a lot of bales, why don't you buy a semi with auto load trailer and haul them? Uh, cause the semis are a little tight to get in there and there's not very many auto loading trailers, like semi trailers that hold that like, like more than so many bales. So they're a little hard to get into the, uh, into the, uh, some of these areas cause they're so cramped, especially on this map. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way you're getting a semi at the bail place here. No, man. Yeah, it's kind of a pain, so. And I don't think there's very many auto loading trailers that are like that, you know, as big as the Roland ones. And they, and they work real well. It all really depends on how well they work as well. But we find the Roland ones work really well. So then they and they hold twenty eight two forties, so and they unload well at sell points, they don't generally bug out too often.
Your first game September 3rd? Yeah, the Rollins are a nice one. They hold a lot. I like them. Good, good mod. And the pack comes with like a lot of different trailers too, right? So. Down choppy to anybody? No, it's good. Okay. I had a little low because I was playing Gold Rush and it's a little really loud game, but. I don't think it's going to be choppy here soon as me because I'm going to be chugging beers. Plowing fields. It's Friday, dudes. <laughs> How many hours did I stream this week? I don't even know. Well, we've been streaming for like eight, nine hours on farm sim. Then you go from anywhere to three to four and a half hours on Gold Rush. Yeah, no doubt a lot, right? It just feel, it felt like this week was a lot, man. Even though it really, I don't think it was, but it's just... Whew, we need to make sure we take these weekends and relax, dudes. Super important. A buncher? Not sure. You'd have to post the link in the farm sim chat in the Discord. Alright, and I'm going to ask this one time here, Amanda. Are you sure you want another grass field? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure this grass would still be on the field. I don't even know how many I'm in right now. Three. Three? Yeah. I'm chugging, dude. I don't even, I'm chugging, bro. I don't know how long today's stream is going to be. I know. I'm, I'm on my third, too. Like, <laughs> one beer, one potato, two potatoes. What's going to be sleeping on the floor here in about four hours? First beer went down in less than two minutes because I was thirsty. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Cold beer. Uh, you don't need to at me in Discord. You can just throw it in the chat, and I'll take a look here in a second, man. Like, if I know, if I'm like, if you're like, hey, split, you know, if I'm not on, and it's like the weekend, then at me, but, you know, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm always on Discord. Like, I'm always at my computer. Like, if I, if I have the time to answer it and stuff like that, then I will, but generally, I'm like, always on stream. And sometimes I wait to go look at Discord so I don't keep tabbing in and out all the time. Because that's one thing I just don't have up on my monitor normally is Discord unless I go need to go to it. Because it's just a, it's just a distraction, right? I'll call, I'll just want to be focused on Discord and then I won't get anything done in the stream. So, <laughs> and I can't see when you guys at me and stuff because the notifications I'm on streamer mode, right? So that way I don't get spammed with uh, messages and notifications and stuff like that. Ooh, that was a nice one, Amanda. Yeah, I was trying to keep that one quiet. Don't worry about it. There's just it's full send day today. It's Friday. We earned it. We just started from some though. Try not to go full caveman yet. <laughs> Try not to go full caveman yet. Let's well, see. We stream for a couple hours, so we got to slow the beer rate down a little bit. But 
Or chat's just like, no, full send today, bros. We don't care. Full send. Hey, it's 714. It's 714? Okay, we got to do something about that. It's past beer clock. Way past beer clock. Oh, okay, okay. okay, okay I should gotcha. be full-blown caveman now right now. <laughs> We're double fisting beers right now, boys. <laughs> no, just... Yeah, I've seen one of those. Those are, those are pretty badass. All the new stuff is coming out here soon, right? And I think they have a few of those. Uh, be those, right? I'm really looking forward to the new logging map. Honestly, I really am. I'm really looking forward to the new logging map. Is any is anybody else looking forward to the new logging map, or you guys kind of like meh? Yes, but I don't know how much I'm going to be using their new toys yet. I think we're going to continue to log the way that we normally log, Amanda. Uh, you yeah, just... the other stuff's just a little complicated. Well, if you like to cut the trees down yourself, that is a real people in real life log that way. They have people out there cutting. Not everything's done by machines. Machines are just too slow. Well, the way I do it's like devastating. I'm a shotgun and beers. Uh, we are on Stone Valley, like the title says. Stone Valley. Now we'll be playing this map for probably about another. How long do you want to play this map for, Amanda? Another week or two? Until I get tired of it, I guess. You know, we can try other maps and then get tired of those ones, right? Yeah, I'm just. Until you're done playing with your ethanol and okay. crap you want to play. What map did you want to check out next? The Canada one? Yes, the Canadian one. The Canada one? Only if we can make bacon and call it Canadian bacon. No. Okay, no deal then. You know what? You guys were. Sp I was supposed to pick the map, and you, Cuzbear, picked the map when I was sleeping. <laughs> I woke up and you guys just told me what map we were playing. I was so mad. Okay, you're picking. You want the Canada one. I don't even know what the map's called, to be honest. I think I I don't know. All I know is apparently there's a Canadian map. Like Bloomfield or something, or I don't know. Chat, yeah, tell us. We have no clue. Give us the info, chat. Come on, bros. I'm so happy I just finally finished bailing after so many hours. Yeah, now start rapping. Let's go. <laughs> No, I'm taking a minute out break there. Dopey's been crushing it for a six hour straight. Just straight looking, like making bales. Bales and harvesting. It only took me 45 minutes to harvest. The rest of the time it's just been bailing. Damn. Savage. Running that farm, boys. Amanda's cross-eyed right now. Yep. Amanda deserves the beers. Wait, At least that I drank three already. Or you handed me three. Handed you through. You asked for another one. I went when I went to the bathroom. I gave you one to begin with, and then that's my. Thought. There should be three PBR cans on your desk. There's still beers from last week on my desk. I didn't get PBR last week. Okay, so I've only had two. That's my third. Okay, week. There's your third. I need to pick it up. I'm slacking. Why did that the beers? Excuse me now. Why did the beer sound so epic when I cracked it? That was legendary. Oh, yeah. Because it came out of the freezer. Well, no, it like sounded like... Is that like an epic beer crack or what, boys? So it was in there for a while. It was almost slush. <laughs> About a big sheet pen 300. They have 500. They have they have bigger ones than that, luckily. It's just sometimes they don't like to distribute their things quite, quite properly. You have to bump them a little bit more. Oh, what are we having dinner? 
Huh? What? I said I'm assuming hot dogs. Oh. I don't want hot dogs. Whoa. I mean, I'm not hungry anytime soon. Is it one of those type of nights? Just beer and whatever we can forage out of the refrigerator? So that later. I make mac and cheese later? Or? No, I'll figure it out then. Gosh damn it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm not even close to eating right now anyways. We're not going to be eating for like hours and hours. Unless you're hungry, but... Yeah, then I'm not worried about it. I was just asking to ask, I guess. Ribs? What a combo, man. Sounds like a delicious combo. Ribs and sushi. What the F? Right? <laughs> oh, like, ribs and sushi? That's, that's a pretty good combo. Some people think I'm weird when I actually dip my, like... Like, you know when you like you have like a sushi platter? I'll actually take like a little cup of sweet baby rays and I'll I'll sometimes I'll dip certain sushi in those. Just a little bit, like just just a little bit on it, you know? Nothing crazy. What's your uh favorite type of uh sushi grinder? Dude, I like I like spicy tuna rolls, man. Load it all up. Big old piece of freaking. Then like on top of it, they have like the slice of like tuna on top. Oh, man. Woo. Go with the California roll. Any, anything, I mean, California roll is so, um, be all over the place, right? Making me hungry? Yeah, it's hungry hour. Let's go. <laughs> you do, you do the same thing, Eric, with your sushi? Just a little bit of barbecue sauce? Yeah, man. I don't know what it is. Sometimes certain certain sushi uh, goes well with a little bit of dab of barbecue sauce. Oh, I like those Philadelphia rolls with cream cheese. Yeah, Amanda does. You do like the cream cheese ones, right? Yeah, but the stupid sushi restaurant won't give me just a platter of those without charging me a whole bunch of money. Yeah. Well, you do know that I can make that, right? Like, it doesn't take very much to make sushi, especially if you want Philadelphia rolls. You can't really go hard on spicy food anymore? Yeah, I know that, but sad thing is sometimes just buying the ingredients is just as much as the steeper platter. Oh, no, it's it's wickedly cheap. Like, you can have more, and it's not that bad. I mean, a sushi mat's not expensive, and we already have a rice cooker, so... There's only a couple of things you need to buy, like ingredient-wise, to make it uh, to make sushi, right? So, some cream cheese and some other things that we. I mean, wait, what's in the Philadelphia roll again? Is it avocado? Like cream cheese. Um, I don't know if there's avocado in it, but I know there's cucumber. Like, some type of like imitation crab meat or something. Yo, okay, that that's an easy one. That's a really easy one to make. That's a super easy one. You love the Philly rolls? Yeah, man. The Philly rolls are good. Those are Amanda's favorite. Anything stuffed with cream cheese. Anything. Yeah, anything, man. Very little wasabi. Did you know that wasabi is just horseradish? I, I didn't I didn't know that, man. I didn't know that that most people, if you, unless you've actually had the wasabi root itself, which is ridiculously expensive. So, therefore, if you've eaten anything from a fast food restaurant or even most restaurants, you have to ask them. 
is this made from paste or is this made from powder? And they will most likely always tell they never most of them never have fresh. And most of them don't even know. And most no, they do know, but they don't tell you. It's all horseradish sauce. It's all horseradish. That's all it is. I didn't realize that. I didn't know that. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I've only ever had sushi once that's actually been done with, with a with a um a horseradish root. The actual not horseradish, but um wasabi root. And that was when I came here in Canada to Canada a really long time ago when they weren't as expensive. Now they're ridiculously expensive. So if it's not expensive, we should make some Philadelphia rolls for our anniversary. Yeah, I can do that. I just have to order. I have to order a. Um, the green wasabi is horseradish. Yes. It's um. It's just they put a dye in it to make it green. And different flavorings. That's all it is. Real creamy wasabi. It's almost like you're eating like butter, but like it, it's it's got that same flavor. Yeah, food coloring. Yeah. What makes it spicy? Horseradish is spicy. Take horseradish and put it in your mouth, but don't look at what it looks like. You'll have the same experience as you would if you had wasabi. It's exactly the same thing. It's not really spicy. But... It's not spicy. It's more floral. You don't know what the F horseradish is? It's more like you're being mildly pepper sprayed for like a minute. Horseradish is what you're eating on when you eat wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> People will generally have horseradish with, uh, like they'll mince it all up and they'll use it like a, with like a cream and stuff and then they'll use it on like uh prime rib or something like that right so i i, I didn't know that it was that, that all the major uh wasabi powders and creams or paste they're all made with horseradish i didn't know that yeah so when you buy horseradish in the grocery store and like a thing of like wasabi paste it tastes the same yeah. Because it is the same freaking it, thing. It is the same thing. Yeah, because an actual horse, uh, an actual horse, see, I'm calling it horse radish. An actual wasabi root itself, like one root can be like 150 bucks. It's too expensive. And it's, and it's super creamy. I've had it. I've actually had the real deal before. And it is night and day. I, I actually thought it was like a really weak, but creamy, like they added something to it. But, but that was a really long time ago. It was, it's super expensive. Super expensive. This, uh, the cheaper ones use dried, but all the major ones, if you look at it, man. Sounds like horse shit to me. No, it's it's actually legit true. All the major all the major ones are horseradish. It's insane. All of them are horseradish. I, I was I was blown away. Cause I've seen the packets and stuff that they use in almost every sushi restaurant. And I know what those labels are. And I've seen them, and I, I didn't know that those were all just horseradish flavor that, that have a little bit of flavor in them. And uh, a green food coloring. I did not know that. I was blown away. I was like, you got to be shitting me. Because horseradish and wasabi are relatively close to the same thing. You know this, but yet you don't know about tapioca, pearls, and pudding? I know, right? Come on. I'm not, I'm not expecting to know everything, right, man? Come on. <laughs> Because he eats sushi, he doesn't eat tapioca things. Yeah, that's true. I didn't know. I thought tapioca was the flavor, and I didn't know it was the little stupid rice pearls. Yeah, it is the stupid little rice pearl. I didn't know that. I thought it was the flavoring. It's like you didn't blame me when I told you pigs hunt truffles and you had to Google it. Hmm. Yeah, you ain't getting wasabi. Yeah, exactly. You ain't getting wasabi. <laughs> if you think you got wasabi and you only paid like thirteen dollars for a roll, you getting the cheap shit. Right? <laughs> you you getting the horseradish dyed green. Especially when you're getting it from like the grocery store. Yeah, of oh, course you're yeah. getting freaking horseradish. Yeah, they're all all of that stuff's horseradish. It's all it all it all is. Um Yeah, I I was shocked. I didn't know that. And I actually had to like do research after I watched one of the videos. And I was like, to like to remember, have I had those? 
And then now that I recall, I have had all of them. And then I was like, wait a minute, that's all horseradish? It, it was just, it blew me away because I love sushi, right? I love, 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 love wasabi. But I also love horseradish too, but that, so that could be the same thing, right? That's yeah. like when you, that's like when you get hot, spicy Chinese mustard. It's just mustard with horseradish sauce in it. That's all, that's, that's all it is. Like, have you ever seen them actually make the sushi in the grocery store? Yeah. Yeah, no, last time I did, like, they were doing the, like, the so-called wasabi, but on the bottle it said horseradish. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a bottle of, um, green horseradish. Yeah, some, some restaurants will use it, but man, their prices are ridiculous to vote for it. Actually, the horseradish was white. They just put coloring in it to make it green. Yep. They will also take this. It's like a tube you can buy at the store. It's called like wasabi, uh, liquid wasabi paste. But really, it's just horseradish that's dyed green before. And it's like it's like neon green. And um, you're supposed to mix it with horseradish to dilute it a little bit. With a little bit of, uh, I don't know what else they use in it to dilute it down a little bit. I don't like the flavor of that one, though. I actually like the powdered stuff better. I guess it's just the color of something tricks your mind, right? I guess is really what it is. I don't even taste the flavor. All I know is it burns my nostrils. Yeah, it's, it's got that aromatic, really hardcore. It's not spicy. It's just it I flares up. Right now, I can't breathe in my nose. You probably should. Yeah, it's really crazy. Crazy, crazy things you find out, right? Your whole life you've been eating something and all of a sudden you realize that you've just been eating the same thing. So now you now you know when someone says that they uh they hate wasabi but they love horseradish, then they, they you know what I mean? You could be like, Yeah, gotcha, sucker. <laughs> gotcha, buddy. They're the same thing, scrub. <laughs> In 90, 99 percent of the cases, most people are not rich enough to afford real wasabi. Yeah, it's just crazy, right? Yeah. How, how much does wasabi root go for right now? Like fresh wasabi root. $250 per kilo, dude. Fresh harvested root, $250 a kilo. But you won't get the whole thing harvested into a powder, right? Actually, do you know how hard it is to grow your own wasabi? I didn't realize how hard it was to actually grow. I was like, holy crap, if it's that much per kilo, like, and then I watched the, um, the guy that did, he supplied all the Guga foods, uh, that he used for the wasabi steak thing that he did. And, um, they were, that's how I was, I kind of came across it. It really, it was really shocking, right? Have we turned all of our fields into grass? Not yet. We got to get all these bales off the field. Then we're turning the other field over here into, uh, into grass. The one that's to our left. So we got to bale all this up into silage and stuff like that. Actually, yeah, it was really interesting. So the so Guga Foods did a a uh, aged dry uh, a dry aged steak, but he covered it in wasabi, and then he did then the other guy's video who supplied the wasabi did the video, and he was the grower of the wasabi. And there's actually only a few producers of wasabi in the world, right? Which is which is pretty crazy. It was it's very very fascinating how how difficult that crop is to grow. Like, I was like, it was shocking. Like, that's why it's so coveted, right? Yo, what's up, Big Tex? How you doing, man? I was just blown away with how much it costs and how hard it is to grow and the different strains of wasabi and stuff like that from Japan. And like, Japan guards that shit like a secret, man. Well, yeah, because he used that shit on everything. 
Dude, you put the whole glob that you meant for like the whole roll in one sushi? On That's one crazy. piece of sushi. On one piece of sushi. So you took the whole like probably tablespoon and put it onto one piece of <laughs> A whole package on one piece of sushi. Uh, well, I bet you, I bet you that lit you up, dude. Your yeah, nostrils probably hurt. The good thing about that is it goes away really quick. Yeah, it goes really quick, but it turns into a dragon real quick. My buddy needs more followers so he can do a twelve-hour stream. What do you mean? Wasabi is technically not spicy, which is weird. Why it would make your stomach can't cramp. Typically, capsaicin makes your stomach cramp. Capsaicin tends to uh, tends to make you cramp, and that's not the same thing that is in wasabi or horseradish. He only needs one follower. I don't think it goes on that man. I don't think it goes on follower count. You should be able to stream 24 hours. His buddy's probably doing uh, so many followers, they'll do a 12 hour stream or some, something like that. Yeah, it's really weird, Vars, that you're saying that it makes you... I mean, yeah, it's a different, it's a different, it's a whole different beast. Yeah, wasabi and horseradish are completely different than normal peppers. Oh, it's a follower goal? Well, he's got a farm out on your own, brother. That's He'll the find whole... his follower eventually. That's that's the fun thing part about a follower goals and stuff like that is you got to grind them. I, th I, I thought you meant like... I thought you meant like he was limited to 12 hour streams. I was like, there's nothing like that on Twitch. <laughs> right? If there was, I'd be like, send everybody over real quick, give him the damn thing so he can make a 12 hour stream, but there's no limitations. It's just he did a 12 hour stream last week. I'm confused. Am I missing something here? I've heard he did a 12 hour stream last week. Then why does he need one more to do another 20 or another 12 hour stream? It's crazy that he's about to do another one. Do we do 12 hour streams every day? Not crazy. <laughs> well, am I missing something here? Am I, am I, am I too many beers in already? Am I missing something here? Am Sounds I being... like slightly advertising. I don't know what's going on. I'm confused. Am I missing something? Chat, am I missing something? Look how many bills he made so far. What blue? I'm kind of confused, man. You're both insane, though. Have a beer, it'll be a lot clearer. <laughs> Have another beer, it'll be more clear. Sounds good. This one's for that. There's another one on your desk. You brought up rookie numbers, wrong channel? <laughs> I mean, 12 hours like our average stream here. Oh, and there's already a beer to go on my desk? Hell yeah! Yeah. I'm bringing more beers than you can drink. All right, and finish that one before the other one I brought you can't swarm. Dude, bro, he shouldn't have goals for streaming. That's kind of weird. Just saying. You should be streaming. Anyways, you don't need goals. That'd be like me going, guys, I'm not going to stream any more tonight unless I get 15 followers right now. You should Don't be even go like that. That's how I'll come. You, 
You should be streaming regardless. You shouldn't... You shouldn't... That's not a good way to do it, man. Like that Just, one kid asked for your link for your Discord and you sent them the link to the donation. <laughs> Yeah, right. You should, uh, just just being just being honest about it, man. You should be streaming as much as humanly possible if you're trying to gain followers. Not I only stream unless I get followers. But twelve-hour streams aren't special because the normal Twitch streams are like. Most of all the top streamers stream for more than 12 hours, so you gotta do something more than 12 hours. Like, 12 hours is nothing on Twitch, as far as streaming. Because Twitch is known for their streamers to be like no-lifers. Right? Like, when the big boys that make millions are, are putting off, cracking off like 20, like 12 hour streams like it's nothing, you gotta go a little bigger than that as a small channel. You gotta go big, man. You'll get there. If I said... If I put a goal for a 12-hour stream, you guys would laugh at me. You'd be like, what, so you're going to start streaming less split? Thanks, man. Great. It's awesome. Do a 24-hour stream of beats and I'll follow. Yeah, you gotta watch out in here, Tex, man. These guys are savages, dude. They expect 24 hours plus, man. I'm just messing, though, dude. I wish him the best of luck, man. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he gets his uh, goal and stuff like that, man. Create 15 accounts. Just had another fun fact there about thousand of the pure content no sleep yeah man there's so many people that do it what are you doing now babe oh. let's wonder why your uh, thing was all crazy yeah you guys like the crazy shit like when people come in here and ask us to do like 10 million liter challenges and we're like what we do that for fun. It's not a challenge. Almost peed myself dying. I almost peed myself last night. You got you got to do better than three point seven million liters of sugar beets. I don't know what she's doing. You give her three beers and now she's in three beer land. We're cruel but kind. Uh, it's okay. I couldn't find one streamer though that was doing a 10 million liter challenge, so. I looked last night and I looked this morning. Couldn't find one streamer. If everybody was doing it, I would expect one person that would be at least doing it. I was going to pee giving the cat a snack. I was just curious. I wasn't trying to be mean. I just found it funny. No, it may seem like I'm mean all the time. I'm not mean. I'm not trying to be mean. I, I, like I said, you guys mess with me all the time. Expect it to come back your way. If you can't handle it, not the right channel for you. If I ignore you, then generally you know that I'm like, meh. That's when you gotta worry.
No, Dopey is the mean one. She puts you in timeout. Lol, tell me, 10 million liter challenge. I'm currently sitting on 1.4 million liters of silage. How long do you want me to complete this in? Like five days? Two days? I mean, how many liters of silage did you guys farm this weekend? This last weekend. It had to have been over five. Something like that. Anywhere from like five to seven, I think. It sounds like you need a timeout, Madre. Freaking Eric. <laughs> You're so mean. Why do you hit him with a 600 second one? I can't. There's no option for how long to time out for. That's just the Twitch standard. You're so mean. Don't hell him out of it in a minute. <laughs> I, won't, I won't make him sit for 10 minutes. <laughs> Damn. Personalized loving on that one. Oh, gosh, got to show Mondra his love. He likes it. <laughs> Mikey likes it. All right, I'm gonna go grab the plow. And all right, I'll can, get these all picked up. You can let Madre out of jail. It gives you Amanda just doesn't know how to do it. It, it definitely gives you a time option. When it says time out, it just times them out. It doesn't say what, for how long. Then you must be doing something wrong. All right, do I got to plow this grass field in or can I just put grass in it? these extra bales for i already told you i don't remember the three grass the three grass ones are the 180s and then the other one is a 220 sort soybean what are you doing nothing did you get my tractor stuck on a bale no what weird shaped bales yeah, because they're 180s. Oh, that's kind of odd. <laughs> For some reason, the freaking baler was at 180. Weird. I didn't figure it out until there was like three bales in. That's strange. Well, you got some food now for a while for your uh, sheeps. That's why I didn't put any more into the food. Yeah, no, you got, you got over a million liters, right? So. Plus what I did earlier. Yeah, it's not bad. No, I, mean, I don't. I don't mind helping content creators out, but not at all. But uh, on your own accord. Like I could do this right now. Hold on. All right, take a look at the title.
<laughs> you just give me crap for putting him to time out. <laughs> it's a time out for not even 60 seconds. We'll see how many people we get to come and follow to help us out, bro. Huh? I was like, none. <laughs> none. <laughs> I'll drink this beer if we get 10 more follows. Oh, I guess people coming in going, do it. Do it, I dare you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I wasn't in moderator view when I when I did it. Oh. Okay. If you're not moderator view, it does not give you a time option. You'll drink that beer anyway. Where's the follow button? Alright, and then I gotta fix this field over here too. Damn it, I gotta change this back somehow. That one now, did I? Oh, dude, I don't even want to know the world of hurt. She'll just time me out for a week. All right, let's see how well I can paint this line in here. If I can even find what I'm doing. Oh, it wasn't God. for no reason. Someone told me you needed a timeout. Nice we haven't seen Barry yet. Looking in his girlfriend. Had to give her back her batteries. Why do I like to paint these lines in better when I'm drunk? What the shit? Just like how you drive better on ATF. <laughs> Why do I play video games better when I'm hammered? What the shit? Get it. Same. <laughs> Why? All right, stop playing with it before I ruin it. Don't ruin it. I don't no. like oddly shaped fields. I know. I had to fix that right there, so. I'm not taking any more off of it, but it is a little weird shaped on one side than the other. That's fine, as long as it's not totally all weird shaped. No, 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 you're good. All right, let me paint the uh, thing. Damn it, hiccups. I'm gonna talk over here and I got damn hiccups. Are you just gonna paint the grass in or are you actually gonna plant grass? No, I'm gonna plant the grass in. I had to paint the field over here to get it away from the side so the workers would do the field correctly. You know how we, you know how the line, the field was way too close to the, uh, the factories? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I cut I cut a little bit off of there. I made the field a little bit shorter. There we go. At least we got some money to make in January. Yep. 
A little bit. Well, seven soybean bales and then however many silage bales. Can we plant grass right now? Should be able to. I don't know. Pretty sure you can only not plant grass in, in the winter. Yeah, that's the uh, deer plow. I don't know. Yes, yeah, so you can plant grass all up until November. Okay. You know, are we ever going to try alfalfa? Unless you want to plant that. I don't know. I don't know what it does. I think it's like grass. I don't know. I don't know. Let me Google it. Let me Google it. I'm just going to put grass in. We know what that does. Oh. Am I zoomed out so far? Grass. It's like hay, you think? What do you harvest it with? Like, you just cut it like grass? Turn it to hay and sell it? Alfalfa is clover like grass? Can you turn it into silage? Not from what you've seen? Okay. All right, the grass is going in over here in this field, Dobie. Okay. Just think of it as a thicker grass. Smoke it if you want. Hmm. What is this thing, a transformer? Yeah, it is, dude. This thing is massive. I like it. It has really good uh, balance in uh, frame rates, too. They did a really good job on it. Really good job on it, actually. Like, it's, uh, it's smooth. And you can pull multiple of these air carts behind you. Right, so pretty cool bonuses right especially if you have really big fields right like this thing is a monster compared to what we need like this thing is maybe when we get a bigger field but it feels pretty small and these guys want to keep turning everything into grass fields so we rarely even need to even use this thing we have this thing and we have the uh, JD the DB120 which is like oh well, these are overkill for what we really need but it gets the job done quick whenever we do need to seed but this field is now being turned into grass, along with that, so. Oh, alfalfa's like purple. Hmm. Oh, do you want me to put alfalfa in the other field up there? I'm just trying to figure out what to harvest it with. Maybe just a normal header, I think? Look in the, uh, the header list for things and see if you can harvest it with a normal header. Not sure. This this one here, this red one, the cedar. That's what you're talking about. This is the borgol or gol or got or gol. I think is how it's pronounced. This is the thirty meter uh, cedar with the uh, hoe drill, hoe drill with the air. Yeah, I'll bring up the, the uh, list here in a second. Thing is... Or gold. The Paralink Code Drill. This one here. It expansive. No, you need a forge harvester for that. 
Oh, you had to have a forge harvester? Mm-hmm. There's no actual header for that. There's only he a header for a clover. What about a normal header? Can you use a normal header to cut? Let's no, see. what I'm saying is like the only normal headers are for clover, not off off of. I think it's this one, right? Simple as that. Oh yeah, clover hero. Okay, so alfalfa wind, an alfalfa windrow, uh, alfalfa hay windrow. What? So you, I don't know. Never done it before. <laughs> Let's take a look here. Oh, there's nothing in there. The worker's being dumb. I think it is the four harvester. Unless that symbols for everything. I'm not sure. Never, never done the alfalfa yet. Take a look here. Okay. A grass chaff, forge, wood chips, blah, 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 blah. No. Forge harvesters. Oh, here we go. Do you need these little guys? No, that's not it either. So this one here is a 6.2 meter. That cuts it. So you just need... Yeah, it's a forge harvester. It's a, it's the little teeny forge harvester heads. F that. No, thank you. Mm -mm. No. Looks like butthole. We got to use a little dinky header, Amanda. Yeah, it didn't help with every video. I was trying to like, like, kind of skim through it on YouTube. It was like all like sped through. It was like all super speed. Any mower should cut alfalfa. Oh, that's just for the pickups. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. So you just cut it like normal and then you use the forge wagon if you want to pick it up. Can you make alfalfa bales or do you have to pick it up as a loose product? So you'd use a, you'd use the, you'd use a forge wagon to pick it up with that header. Okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. That's not actually what you cut it down with. Okay. I'm understanding now. I got you. Oh, and you can bail it too. Okay. I'm seeing now. I'm getting you. I'm I'm on, I'm on the same page now. We're good. All I know is we got to get some money going because uh we got to start cramming um the slurry into this uh we got to upgrade this thing so we can uh, get the slurry going so we can make more digestate so we can also then therefore make uh more fertilizer cuz we get the fertilizer pack. The hell there's like a random like 180 wrapped i don't know well it'll count yeah it wrapped it, it just wouldn't pick it up i was confused yeah
Oh, you can make it. You can make it. You can make it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. And can you get these bales out of my way? Or I'll just run over it. Damn it. Or not. Get out of here. my understanding, alfalfa is higher yield than grass. Don't tell us that. But if you can't make it into silage, then... GG. Yeah, it said it had, like, a longer stem, but I don't quite understand it. I mean, I know what alfalfa is. It's just... I don't know what it does in this game. Alpha, alpha, I've ever heard of his little rascals. <laughs> what Shane was saying too. I don't know shit about farming. Me too. Yeah, I got to get the uh, digestate to fertilizer maker up and running. Get this field put in here for you. Right. And we'll get... Uh, see what else we got to go for the day. We also really have to keep an eye on these uh, sheep and see what's going on here. I don't think our um, things are producing what they need to be producing. I accidentally yeeted that thing on top of the roof over there. I don't, know, I don't quite understand it, so I've just been feeding them. Basically, just keep them alive. Yep, just keep on keeping them alive. They're producing a lot of money for us each year. Plus, we expanded, so... We just can't purge them off. We gotta let them get full age, full, so they can produce full amount of uh, wool. And hopefully, it's enough to keep up. If not, I know then now that that pen is not going to be able to be sufficient enough to produce what we need it to produce. So then we'll have to actually change it up. Looking at the giant's form and it says you can make silage from it. You can wrap silage? Bale wrap? You can bale wrap alfalfa. With no mods, just bale wrap it and you're good to go. Yes, actually, you can. Okay. Well, when can I put in alfalfa? Right now. Are you ever going to go plant grapes? Um. Maybe. Good question. Are you putting it into that field, or are you putting it into a different field? I don't know. I'm not sure. I thought you just wanted all grass fields. I do, but then you said you wanted the alfalfa. I don't know what alfalfa is. Chat, should I put in alfalfa? I 
think I mean, it's. Do you need three fields of soybean right now, or? We really don't need three fields of anything right now, to be honest. I just did. I just harvested three fields of soybean. I mean, we really don't need three fields of anything. Try it out. All right. All right. We'll go in here. I mean, this is just testing it anyways. So, hell yeah, let's go. If we don't like it, we could purge it by. You want to learn like from my mistakes. Okay, no problem. I got you guys. We got you handled. We got you covered. Here we go. It's not like we don't have the mowing power. That's for sure. Now, here's the real question. If this thing yields more, you mean uh, to tell alpha, me... Alpha, alpha, uh, harvest from April to July. Oh, so it's... But okay. you can plant it all the way up until um, end of October. I wonder how long it takes to grow. Can you get multiple cuts out of it like you do grass? Well, it says you can harvest it from April to July, so that's four months. Hmm. Interesting. Be more beer to think about this. Think about it before you start planting it, or unless you already have. Yeah, Nordy chugging. Well, if you plant it now and we don't like it, we could always change you back to soybean in April. Yep. No, we will soon see. Exactly. Soon. Soon? Soon see? A soon see. Yes. We crossed the soon see. It was difficult, but we made it. There was many... Pirates. Many beers down. <laughs> uh, alfalfa on this one. They added soybean straw on the Stone Valley, and then a couple, a lot of maps have added alfalfa, right? Is that something Giants did? I don't even know, man. I don't know. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Ooh, good thing I muted myself on that one. Woo! That was a double banger. Yeah, we're just getting inebriated today. That's that's literally what this tree. You mind? But my I muted myself. Well, I don't have the option to mute myself, so <laughs> I was talking. Thank you. This save is for fun and testing, right? So have at it. Exactly. This is not a. Uh, this is not really like a, a survival trial, right? So, or uh, it's mainly just for playing and having fun and dicking around and learning some mods. And you gotta remember, we're like we're we're pretty much base game players, right? So we're just trying to add on to the, uh, the amount of mods that we might choose to play. Like right now, I'm thinking the sheep pen is actually a failure. I'm not uh, thinking it's going to keep up. So, and I don't have to do any more extra gimmicks to make it keep up. So that one is not getting the passing grade right now, guys, to be honest. Because that, with 500 sheep in there, it should be able to fully stock up. Well, apparently... Drunken lines. My driving's not getting the approval right now. It's not getting any better. <laughs> You're not getting any better right now. Only with decorating. Yeah, only with decorating, apparently. You're, I don't like your tractor anyways. I'm just going to lie, man. I'm going to throw this thing off in the cliff. No. Jump it off of a, a freaking pile of silage. I'm just going to trash that tra tractor. It's going to be me. Uh, it's not that we need a bigger pen. We just need the pen to work correctly. Right? And it's, it seems to not have the right distribution out. Right? So we had to download a mod just to have it distribute correctly. So the pallet is not big enough. It doesn't spawn enough pallets when it does for all 500 sheep. So therefore, it's just not going to work. 
Now I could do the same thing right now if I deleted that sheet pen and then just put in six large sheet pens. It would then I know it would work perfectly. Right? So it's not beating the base game because it's too much of a hassle. Right? So right Real. now but there is a forge harvester on sale for sixty six thousand. Not harvester by forge wagon. So that that mod is not getting and we have to water them. On the base game ones, we don't have to water them. We just have to smash six of them together and put those little distribution cell pads. So it's it's not stacking up. That mod is that mod is gonna get deleted from the rotation list if it doesn't pick its shit up, figure it out. I shouldn't have to have a mod to use another mod because that mod's broken. You see what I mean? That's how that's how come it's not making the list. That's why it's not gonna make the list. It's getting taken off. Which one is the sheep? The sheep pen that we're currently using is not going to make it onto the mod list uh, for the next server. No, no, it's 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 too much work. We that don't need to do. I, I don't mind watering them. Trust me, I don't mind watering them. But when they're not outputting correctly, that is fail. It's a, it's a complete fail. So yeah, it's not it's not making the list anymore. I don't think it's gonna make it. It needs to be fixed. The the all the pallets don't spawn correctly, um, and the output's not as good. Oh my feelings! Well, it is what it is, man. Contact the person who made it and tell them to fix that shit because it's broken as hell. Five hundred sheep should be overkill for six spinneries, six base game spinneries. Overkill. Like I said, we still have to, we still have to wait. I got to make sure that those sheep are full. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't keep up with all of it, it's just like I said, it should be filling them with no problem. We already really saw the problem with the output, right? So if it physically can't spawn the pallet because they're coming out crooked, that's the mods fault. And there's nothing you're going to be able to do to uh, fix that. Yeah, it is what it is. It was a nice test. It's a nice thought. I like the way it looks. I like the way it looks. It makes the farm look nice. Because when you start packing in a lot of base game stuff, it just looks really industrial, right? And I'm trying to g stay away from that look. The super hardcore industrial, like, animal pens looking type thing. So, you know, hopefully I can find another mod to kind of fix that. Um, maybe put two of them together or something. You know what I mean? Because I do like the way that they look over there. It looks nice. That little area looks pretty tight. And yeah, we did smash in the, the clothing areas and the spinneries, so I would like to get one spinnery that does the job of six just so we could cut down on buildings and stop smashing so many together. Um, so since we normally always run a lot of spinneries, we just need something more souped up, right? And that's only only reason why I say that is to cut down on resource cost, right? So... I want to have my farm be able to do what six of something can do, but not have to have so many damn buildings. Because that's about what we do. Anywhere between three to six, right? They have fenceless pastures, right? Yeah. I, you know, we haven't actually played with those yet. I actually want to. Yeah, we should, we should bring those on and play with those. Because we know that these sheep aren't working quite right. The pigs are doing okay. The pig, the pig pen from this, this mod is nice. I like it. It's, it works. When you lay something down, though, a lot of the fences and stuff float off the ground and everything like that. It's supposed to be laid on something perfectly flat, I think. I'm trying to use the uh, 250 sheep pen. Yeah, I looked at the 250 sheep pen. It might be a better option just to use two 250s than to use this one five hundred. But it all it all let me know how the uh, distribution works. If the distribution's fixed and stuff like that, right? Because if you're not getting a true output of a of a five hundo because the pads all janky, then there's no point in the use. There's no point in using it, right? So you're just feeding all these sheep, and you're not getting the right distribution, right? So. What's the point then at that rate, right? 
Yeah, let me know how they work, dudes. And if they if they're worked and they're balanced, you you guys see what we're trying to do, right? So just let us know if you figure you, you will replace certain mods, right? From the uh, the list, and that's like I said, that's what this save is for. So, all right, Mondre, dude, have a great night's sleep, buddy. Much love, dude. Okay. What? I keep finding all these small bales everywhere. What the hell happened? I don't know, dude. I know for a fact I made three by accident, but I've found like four or five that are like 180. I do not know what to tell you. So that's why it's not lifting up. I was like, why is it not lifting up? Why is the fertilizer still coming out? Oh, it's because there was three over there. Then the ones you ran over, they yeeted all over the field. Oh, no, I threw them all over the place. My bad. I was trying to get them out of my way. My bad. I literally just turned and chucked them all. The biggest uh, fenceless sheep pen is... 190. See, that's not bad. I just need enough to equal what six base game sheep pens would output, right? So, if I I could I could get away with just using two of the fenceless, right? So, just make sure you do the math. I think was it 60 times six, right? And then whatever we need to make to make that happen for output wise for you know a million, right? The million dollar shirt sale every year. So the we would need like it'd be like a two and trying to cut the building size down right the amount of buildings that we have to make that rotation happen all right alfalfa's in i think i got a spray though so oh god Two fifty pen is uh three point eight vanilla pens. Yeah. Try to unfold them, just go forward. Just do something, please. You gonna call a night also well as well, Grinder? Thanks, buddy. You have a you have a great one, bud. Thanks for coming by and hanging out. And you too, man. You have a good weekend. Well, work weekend. Much love, man. Okay, let's take a look at the field states. Boom. What do we got here? Greeny. Alright, let's go ahead and grab the uh wait, where's my sp rare thing at where the rubicon go it over in one of the fields oh where i left it i no? moved it over but it's not too far from when you left it okay i got it we dudes but yeah, we'll check out this alfalfa and uh, see how well this goes. And yeah, we'll take a look at it, right? Maybe what we'll do is we'll do a yield, uh, yield test or something. See how many uh, things. In well, I mean, you have to do it in the same field, right? So, I mean, I guess I could look and see, but I don't know if anybody has the, uh, what's it called on it? Oh, wait, I can't hurt this yet. 
Nope. Not how that works. I don't even think I can put the grass in with a fur a fur layer either. Ooh, that needs lime down the middle of it. All right. I'm about to spray a little lime on it. Uh, can you bring a lime cart over here? me need to check out the uh, fertilizer thing we gotta start making our own fert and everything we gotta check that mod out as well too because since we're gonna start playing with biogas plants which we never really had before um i, I kind of want to be able to make my own fertilizer and stuff too so let's um let's take a look here what is another production Okay, so we have fertilizer production, digestate to fertilizer, right? And then we have manure to fertilizer, and then we have slurry to fertilizer, and then we also have water and fertilizer to liquid fertilizer. So we need one of these for sure, and we need one of these for sure. Okay, so since we already have this thing, all right, we're gonna we're gonna kind of stack this thing in here. Guess maybe we put it somewhere else here. We got what do we got here? I'm trying to find the right place to put these. Maybe put them along here. That'll work. And then we'll go water to, oop, we gotta move that thing first. Then we'll put this one in here, right, as well. So that way we can take the fertilizer and water and we turn it into liquid fertilizer from digestate, right? So, it's the semi truck at? Beep, beep. Yeah, I was going to put them in a row. I just got to, I got to move the damn, uh, damn trailer out of the way. That way I can just pull up to one, pull up the other. That'll be a good spot for him. What the hell? Thought I connected.
Now we should have a ton of digestate. So <laughs> we should have lots. There you go. I dropped off the lime card at your field. Uh, can you just lime the strip right in between the two fields for me? The line that I just put in. So we actually already have, which is where we haven't been pumping any more anything into the biogas plant, is the one on the right or the one in between the grass field and. Uh, op open your map and go to soil composition, and you'll see the super light blue. So where it says needs lime, it's right in between two and six. That's how you can tell what needs lime. Okay, let me take a look here. Um, hmm, what was I looking for here? That's right, looking for productions. How much digestate do we have? We have 1,188,691 liters of digestate. <laughs> I, th I think we can make some fertilizer, dudes. It should distribute here. Oh, okay. Oh, back it up. Okay, yeah, so I guess we distribute. <laughs> Rookie numbers. I know, right? Rookie. They're saying it auto distributes already for us. Okay. Then let's go ahead and go into production. Go ahead and go to production. We're looking for this beast. Right. That's liquid, so okay. All right, so this thing takes 1,500, makes 1,500. Okay, that's nice. So we're going to store. Where does this thing? Can I distribute this? Where would that distribute that to, though? Would that distribute? Where's it going to distribute it to? My storage? My tanks? My butthole? All a possibility. All a possibility, yes. Absolutely. Okay. Um. I mean, would it distribute that to the thing? Oh man, the pigs are running around in the road. No piggies.
Crawr. Did you just yawn? No. Hmm? How dare no. you? No, I didn't yawn. I can hit it. I didn't yawn at all. I know the difference because I was doing it all day yesterday. Yeah, you were. How dare you? So yeah, I'm sorry, and I still went to bed at 4 a.m. Oh, Dorito sounds so good. You don't have any Dorito. I know. Time for Doritos has passed. Yes. It always throws you off how big the Rubicons actually are, right? This thing's awesome. It actually makes me want to fertilize. Oh, you like the Rubicons, huh? I hate the other ones. They're so... Annoying? Swervy and they just don't go in a straight line. They just annoy the crap out of me. I'm just like, I don't want to do it. Oh, the Rubicons are tight. I figured you'd like the Rubicons. They're fast. You got good Anything I can drive and just choose not to go in a straight line. Just mow everything down with fertilizer, right? You got it. Oh. <laughs> Damn, cat, just fall on your face, why don't you? Gave up on life and just fell on her head. No, she had her feet. Just her foot hit your microphone stand. I thought I heard her face hit the ground. To beer or not to beer? That is the question. Did you finish your beer? That is the question, though. Yes, all my beers are finished, and I have one open in here. I have one unopened sitting in my in front of me. Yeah, before it gets warm. My wife's gonna get me drunk. Is that a problem? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know if it's gonna be a problem till later. Figure it out. We've been streaming a lot. It's and I, I need to, I, dude. Last night was horrible. Last night I was just mumbling to myself after about an hour after I got off stream. Dude, we went to bed not even five minutes later. You were snoring. You're like, I don't even know how we even got in here. How we get here? I'm like, dude, we just walked in here and came to bed. I don't remember going from my office to the, to the, uh... I went and I, I put a movie on and, like, literally not even three seconds later, you were, like, mouth open on your back snoring, so I was just, like, changed it to my show. Watch out, machine gun meowsers on our, on our way. Listen up, meow. She's on patrol. Yeah, that's my ball sack. What the shit? Ow. <laughs> Whatever. No, she tried to attack the cord that comes off your your pant my pants. The drawstring thing. Why Ow. is it hanging so low? I don't know. It's just hanging. No, leave it alone. Get out of here. No. Get yeah, bad kitty. Ow. What the shit? That's why you don't hang your stuff so low. I, I didn't. It's just, it's no, it's just there. She came up and just started batting at my nuts. I was like, what the shit? It was because my my cord was hanging down there. <laughs> this is stupid drawstring on my shorts. The stupid question is why your boss hanging it so low. <laughs> that's a, that's for another stream. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get into it right now. The a 90 foot? I, I'm thinking about going away from the Dalbo or whatever the, the dildo roller or whatever the hell it's called. 
And, uh, because that thing just squirms around everywhere. So, you're saying that the... Is it, is it Borgolt? How is it pronounced? I'm, like, butchering it, man. I don't know. Why would you want a 90 foot grass roller? Because that's like twice as big as ours. The point was, as I said, I wanted one that I could attach to the back of my mower. I think you're saying pull. it right. See, what you're saying is, is you want rollers. I can pull the mower on the back of, I, on the back of my mower as well as I think I can pull the baler as well on the back of my mower. So what you're saying is, is you need a 10 meter roller. Yeah, I don't to, to make it easier. Or at least something somewhat close. I don't think that... I'm not sure if there's a 10 meter roller, to be honest. Um, if you use the... It's always just going to be faster just to go out there and roll it, because if you mess up or you swerve... Not with this purple thing, it isn't. If you mess up and swerve, it may screw you over. What's up, Undead? Sorry it's been a while. Lots been happening. Dude, like I always say, man, I'd rather you guys have be out there being productive and dealing with life and sitting here watching me so hopefully it was all good my man and it's good to see you dude yes we're extremely intoxicated we're getting there so it's friday and we've been not streaming even close enough yet. you're not even close enough man i got a pretty good buzz going and again i'm not drinking very much <laughs> I've been actually focusing on what I'm doing and I've been on and getting you drunk. Not me, man. I'm just like. <sighs> That's just it. I've been focused on what I'm doing and getting you drunk. Sweet. I mean, I'm about the same. I think you're one ahead of me, but the only thing it's doing right now is just making it to pee a lot. <laughs> Do you think you took intoxication to the next level? No. <laughs> Not even close. Intoxication on the next level is when I have to lock the gate or he's going to run down the street in his underpants. Yeah. What up, boys? <laughs> hey, what? This fat man runs like a gazelle. Damn right. He runs away better off calling the cops, having them go chase him down. Mm-hmm. How big is his tank, man? No, we're striking. No, thankful he has underpants on. You know you're drunk enough when you can't figure out how to open the gate because it's locked. You know you're you know you're drunk enough when I have to lock the gate. Uh, dude, Will Ferrell, that was a good one. After that, uh, Jaeger and the beer tower is there. The last time, yeah, I had to lock the gate. Listen, I've only blacked out on stream twice in seven years. I had, I was going to the bathroom. I kept finding you outside in your underpants. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to go for a walk. It's, in your underpants? No. It's only ever been twice in seven years, okay? And we've had a lot of drunk streams. Basically okay. epic. Mods list. Uh, here you go. This is not even all of them, though. We don't we don't run commands here. We're noobs. <clears throat> Pretty much running uh, AGI pack, all the DLC stuff. We're running the Baylor's Bale wrapper colors. Running the uh, John Deere DB one twenties. Bale wrapper colors don't even work. The Bale wrapper things suck. Some of these we're not we haven't even used. We've used them before, but we threw them on the server because they're guaranteed well, lists. I think he got the wrong color things. Yeah, there's two of them. Yeah. Uh, we're not, we actually don't have any decorative pla uh, packs, Buddha, like at all, like none. We haven't put any on the server because we know what they do. So there's, we're not really into the decorating at the moment because we like, we like to do the decorations. Um, we like to do the decorations when we earn it and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So in this save is more just testing out mods, right? 
So we, we've already tested out all the decoration, most of the decoration stuff, right? So this is all about the productions and new things to see how we like, how they work with other things. The map is in the title, Western Wilds, my dude. You don't got you don't got to command it up, buddy. We got we can we can we talk did to you. Did you say Western no. Wilds? Yes, I did. It's not Western Wilds. Sorry, dude. That is my favorite map, bro. I love that map. <laughs> we know this. this is all you talk about. I love my Western Wilds, man. Now this is uh Stone Valley, twenty two. I am said no man's land. <laughs> you almost said no man's land. <laughs> yeah, we're both doing good. Mm -hmm. Listen, I've been playing farm sim all day. I spent six hours just, like, bailing. Oh, just saying FYI, anybody? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, Gotcha, gotcha. You're in love with the Western Wilds? Yeah, man, I do. I do love my Western Wilds, man. Like, all my projects are wrapped around Western Wilds right now at the moment, so... Yeah. You need to purchase a game to get Western Wilds? No. It's a mod on both console and uh, PC. It's just a mod. It's uh so when you look at the map, right? Western Wilds doesn't have um any pre-done farms. What it has is a whole bunch of, of uh, rectangles, right, that you can buy, and each one's a certain value, but there's no set farms on the map at all. There's just, like, a cell point, a sawmill, and a southern sawmill, and just, like, a big river going in between the middle, and everything's relatively flat. The northern part of the map is, like, no trees, and the bottom part of the map has a lot of trees. So it's pretty much just a free creation uh, whatever your heart desires, whatever you want to turn it into. Uh, it's really good for survival style plays. So, and that's what we kind of do. So that's why I like it so much. And as far as the survival style maps out there, it's, it's the map that has the most amount of extras. And by extras, I mean, like when you go into your build command, it's got landscaping. When you go into plants, you scroll over and this is, map doesn't have them but western wilds has a whole bunch of rocks and stuff built in right it's got a bunch of other features too that other maps don't have built in so yeah it's it's a really good one so if you love the survival style maps and you want to just go out with your truck and your chainsaw and try to figure out how to survive and make money and no fields and put your fields in yourself it's a really good one same thing as no man's land they're both made by the same creator uh, alien jim so make sure you guys check them out if you're into that right so we got almost six stacks of silage. Nice. Off of what was on the ground, right? Just right there? Mm-hmm. Damn. Would you? Meow. Get a cat. How much does this thing hold? I could be doing this all day long. Boom up. Puma, Puma, Puma. Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, is there any way to make this thing like, I guess what I'm doing is probably the fastest way, right? <laughs> That's a lot of water. I will right, we'll do one more trip. Uh, this one's actually bigger than the biggest tanker. Because we have the Unreal one on here right now. So it's like, or the next step under Unreal. So it's like 60 something thousand liters of water. Yeah, I think we already did that actually. The digestate, yeah. Um digestate is distributing. Is we haven't bumped yet, so 
Uh, let's actually take a look here. We'll uh, we'll speed up time and see what happens. Oh man, oh man, holy! It oh it just sent. Oh man. <laughs> like I just sent a million liters there. Oh my god. Uh, so we got to distribute the solid fur. Now we got to distribute that over to the liquid fur station. And then we have to activate this. But where is the, where is this one going? Does this go to my, my storage? Like, where is it distributing it to? I guess we'll tell. Only time will tell. Keep those on storing. All right. So we got distributing. Uh, I have not tried the map Spruce Mountain Farms yet. I have not. Okay. Uh, so far, the only maps that we have played on um, this since this has came out, which I know sounds kind of weird. We've only played on Elm Creek. And we've only played on Western Wilds because when the game first came out, we put 500 hours in, uh, me, Dopey and cousin bear. We put in 500 hours on pretty much all of us. We were always playing. We put 500 hours into, uh, Elm Creek. And so on to in total, the map had 1500 hours plus on it. And then we were gone for five months. And then when we came back, we played a little bit of calm. Oh, sorry. Calmston. Uh, we played Calmston, beautiful map, great. Oshin and David did a great job on it. Too confined. Um, Amanda doesn't like it because it's way too confining for her. She doesn't like really like the European maps, but I loved it. It was really nice. It's really good for small equipment and stuff like that. Uh, so if you're into the small, limited horsepower type stuff, that one's great. Uh, he did a great job decorating it, and then we played Western Wilds. So. I can't believe it's pretty much nine o'clock already. I know, right? Well, yeah, I think I streamed Gold Rush for six hours today. I went for beer around five o'clock, so. Yeah. Now, where's this one going? I'm wondering if that's going. Well, we're done for the, the bump, right? Ah, uh, yes. I might want to check the animals, though. I think I did it at the beginning, but I'm, I can't remember. Oh, gross, why is it dark? No! We literally just make that much fertilizer that fast. Yeah, just let me know if the animals are done. Okay, I guess I'll check. Yeah, yeah, let's check those real quick, and then I'll, I'll, sorry, I'll bump. I'm just, sorry, I'm making- I was like, why didn't you check? I can't remember. You're like, yeah, why didn't you do that? Yeah, you should get on top of that right now. <laughs> you should get on top of that. I gotta feed the pigs one second. Okay. How are the pigs doing? Making poop? Oh, they're okay. They're gonna make it. I'm already right here. We have enough water? Bacon won't starve. No, we'll need water for sure. Hold on. 
Let me uh, let me grab the water. Well, yeah, it needs to be refilled, but but they're full on water. No, they're not full on water, are they? Sorry, right, guys. Well, uh, it'll be uh. No, never mind. I'm wrong. Scratch that. Get water. Yeah, I was using the water tank to uh, fill up the fertilizer thing. Cheap me water. They drank a lot. Pigs are fed though. Okay. We're bumping. One sec. Why does all the bacon look dead? It's dead bacon. They're bake a lot. Pork sheep. Okay. They don't actually eat that much. Oh, never mind. Yeah, they didn't actually eat that much on the. Oh, the, the bump wasn't uh, insane. Okay. Okay, well, let me check out At the production. At least they off the same stack. Liquid fertilizer. They use. Oh my gosh. Hmm. We now have 467,000 liters of liquid fertilizer. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Won't need fertilizer anytime soon. <laughs> Won't need fert anytime soon. What are your settings for how fast the game goes on how many days a month? Uh, we just do one. We do one day bumps and or one day months. Yeah, that way, and we just play real time. So that way, when we're playing, we can. I try to keep the stream. Like you'll notice when you watch me play, it's never dark. Right. We try to. We try to. We try. We try to stay away from the game being dark because we. It's it's hard to watch. Right. Like how are you gonna watch when everything's just dark? Right. So we try to keep. It real time and then during the day we do all of our work and then when we're ready we call it out and then we bump time to the next month and then if we need to bump time again we just feed do our rotation and bump so if you go real time you'll have 24 hours to do all your rotation if your farm is so big you need 24 hours of real life time to bump to, to do all the work on your farm then you got a, a holy grail of a farm <laughs> right so but generally the biggest farm that we've had so since we've played with one with a one bump cycle on real time the biggest farm that we've had it took us around 12 hours to do everything to where we could go okay we're ready to bump time what was, was this that was elm creek elm creek if we didn't neglect anything was a 12 hour turnaround Remember, because mm, all the grass? No, not yeah. really. All the grass, yes. If we were, if we had to bail and do everything like that and bunker crush and do everything, yes, it was 12 hours. We were From, bunkering, yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 12 hours. All right, how are these wool things doing? Absolutely shitty. These pens are horrible. It's not doing what we need them to do. It's garbage. These pens are garbage, man. This this pen's garbage. It's not outputting enough. Well, then why don't you get rid of it and just get like two smaller ones? Two I or three need, smaller ones. I don't need two. I need six. Well, shit. We don't got enough room for six, so that's what you get. I could cram six in there, but yeah, no, these things are horrible. Yeah, if you own the whole map and everything like that, like it's it can be a lot, right? It depends on how big of a map you're playing on too, right? Like if you're playing on a map that's like a big, big giant map or. No, you, you don't gotta be sorry, Buddha. We were, we were uh, looking at all kinds of pens anyways. And this was one that was up on the list before you even suggested it. This was the one cousin bear grabbed, not even knowing you suggested it. So yeah, I wanted the border of this one, the fenceless ones. Yeah, it's just it's the it's just glitched out. The sheep are glitched out, so it's not a big deal. No big deal. That's why we're on this tester save, man. Now you guys know if you're trying to do what we just did, so it'd be it'd be one pen of five hundred into six spinneries into four tailors, 
this thing will not work. It doesn't, it doesn't distribute correctly. It doesn't produce the amount of wool that 500 sheep should produce. It can't distribute them correctly at all. So, and it lags them behind. All right, so, yeah, no, no big deal. No bags at all. Try to try, uh, two, two fifties. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that probably. Uh, I mean, we'll, we're, we're, what I'm trying to do is we're trying to see, we're trying to get to April when we sell the shirts. So we're going to collect all the shirts and we're going to put them in and see how much we get. Right. So, and it also seems with this pen to the distribute rate, it's a little off. Something that's been a discrepancy in the cycles per month. So I'm not sure. It's kind of weird. Been a little funky. I think it's just a million liters just sitting there. Okay, it's not distributing the fertilizer, is it? No. But where's it distributing the liquid fertilizer to is the question. That's kind of weird. Yeah, where are you distributing it to there, bro? Obviously not the tank, because it says we only have 5,442 liters of liquid fertilizer. Yeah. Man, that thing is just an obliterator. Yeah, I'm only distributing the, the uh, solid fertilizer, right? But you mean for the liquid? Yeah, where, I mean, I thought maybe it would just, maybe it's just an option, but it doesn't go. It did, obviously didn't go anywhere, right? So uh, you just set it to, to uh, you just set it to storing, right? So it, it, where is it going to go? Wait, what the? Yeah, so storing, right? So, I mean, where's it going to go? That'd be cool if it distributed it to your, your tanks. That'd be nice, but it, it obviously doesn't. It just stayed there. Um, and the solid fur, we can just distribute those. We do have 345,000 liters of slurry though. I think some of the production just gets deleted. If you have it set to descri uh, describe a couple of times that's happened and couldn't figure out where it went. Yeah, so the math is not adding up on the uh, the sheet pen at all. It's 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 horribly off. Uh, sorry, what was that, Dobie? I don't know, I forget. I lost it. You lost it. It's okay. Sorry. Oh, the slurry. We have three hundred forty-five thousand liters of slurry. Four hundred something thousand liters of slurry. Three hundred forty-five thousand six hundred eighty. And we have no more digestate anymore. So that means we need to start shoving silage bales into the uh, thing again. All right, the shirts do need to be moved. I'll move them off the pads. We need to get our auto loaders back in too. We need to get some type of auto loader. So we need to add an auto loader, a decent auto load trailer that actually works. That's not like janky as hell. Uh, if we talk about one for pallets, like we could always use the one that we use for chicken. Yeah, we could use that one. I'd like to try to find one that has a bigger, where I can just, it's not so stupid. The IT runners are nice and all, but. They work pretty well if you have them in the right place. The only problem with them is that they're like weird for loading, right? All right, we're having an issue. I can't walk forward. A character is drunk. We know this. Hold on. The auto load specialty works good for base game trailers with auto load options. We have that specialty thing installed, but none of the trailers work unless Bear didn't buy the thing with it on it. I don't know. 
we it's installed on the server right so we have the what's it called where's it at here boom boom uh maybe he didn't install it <laughs> or it might not show up in here i don't know i I'd, 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 i had to go through the mod list and look i don't, i'm not exactly sure what he what he i have to take a look and see what's going on I have, to, I have to, I'm going to tweak it this weekend a little bit, so. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what he, what he tried doing. He, he hasn't played with a lot of mods that we've played with. And we, we've like, our Western Wilds is the most mods that we've played with. And that's not even a lot, right? So. I'm not sure what it is, man, to be honest. We just have to make sure there's room for these things to spawn. We should have been producing shirts the whole year, so theoretically, we should have been producing enough shirts to almost not, maybe not this year, because our sheeps were a little bit purged. We weren't planning on doing this, so we should have at least gotten a quarter more. So this this sale should be at least like 560 to 600,000, right? So but there's no way that this 500 sheep aren't outputting enough to keep up with six spinneries. Consider it's 500 sheep. It's so something would definitely be off, right? And we've already seen how weird the pallet things are, so it's leading me to believe that it's not spawning them out correctly. Therefore, you're not getting the right amount of output onto the pad. Also meaning that we can't distribute that many uh, at a time because it can't, this distributor can't actually hold that many. And that could be the issue too. Because if you look at the distributor thing, I think it's only 5,000 liter capacity. So it's, it's gonna delete half of, over half of the capacity limit. Plus this thing can't even poop them out right. At most, the most we've seen that this sheet pen can put out is like 6,000 liters. I believe this thing is a limit of 5,000 distributing, see? So I would need, you need more. This is too much. This is too much for this. This setup is way too much. All right, so this, this setup is not actually working at all correctly. 400 was barely enough to do two for you. That doesn't make sense. 400 sheep for two spinneries? Do I, I don't I don't really have tutorials right now for farm sim. I just play and kind of play and chill. Uh what are you doing, Doby? Same for you. That's really weird because four for four hundred sheep, um you, you should only have to do three. You should only there should be three, three, and three. But or sorry, three two three two one is a is a good combo, uh, but you'll overfill. So, yeah, three three two is what I generally run, and you're still not maxing and maxing it out. But you're maxing out, you're you're more maxing out with the three three two than you are with the tailors, right? No, it shouldn't matter. All right, well, we made a crap load of those, so I'm not too worried about the things. I just wanted to see how that thing was making those. How are the pigs doing? They're just making poop, so good for them. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't matter uh, what sheep you use. It matters their age, pretty much, is what matters the most. So, like, for instance, we have 513-monthers, 15... 10s, 15s, 12s, we should be producing max wool. We're just not able to keep up. Now, you know what I'm wondering? I'm wondering this. I'm wondering if I just need to put two distributing pads down. And we'll see if that's going to do it. So let's try that, actually. Let's see why we have some bump months. We'll see if this will actually fix the issue. Because uh, we might actually just be overplugging the distribution. But I'm not sure if it's going to be able to share the same pad. Right, so... Go animals, let's go sheep. This there. 
and then see how this thing covers the pad. And we go B, boom. Like this, activate it. Boring wool, nope. We want to distribute. Distributing a thousand wool. Actually, you know what? I want to store real quick here. <laughs> what the? That sounded gross. Ew. You need to go. You, it, the booger sound that just came through your microphone was like HD booger sound. What the? I know there's nothing that came out. That does, does not sound like it to me. <laughs> it sounds like you got a whole bunch of enemy combatants on your monitor now. Ew. Ew. Who hm. oh, shut up? I'm like boogers it made me jump. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's, let's Stay back store. For earlier. Okay. Let's get a bump. What? All right, bumperino, here it comes. Captain Captain Bumpenstein. I'm just curious to see if it's going to fill both of these things up. Okay, so this one's full of wool. Now, is this one going to be full of wool? It is. Okay. Right off the bat, we were already losing right there. Right, so this thing we know is this had a thousand, right? So let's go ahead and distribute. Let's go ahead and distribute. So this pen might be so big that we need multiple freaking. No doubt, that was gross. I mean, <laughs> Jesus. Like an HD booger sneeze, hardcore. All right, get sending that to your your freaking place there, bruh. Get distributed. We can troubleshoot it too, right? So now let's take a look. See, now we're starting to get positive wool in those pens. Right now, this one's not though. These are going down a little bit, but that's that's okay. We know it was a little bit beat up. Now we actually are getting positive wool, right? Now what we're really wondering is this is I wonder, okay, we need three of them? Is this thing pooping out so much wool that we need three of them? Hmm. Sticking out another one also, yeah, right? I mean, if it filled up two completely, let's add another one.
Well, let's just distribute and see what happens. You might need four or five. Who knows? Exactly, man. It might be that brutally. It might be that crazy where we literally need that many. All right. It might need. So that would be that would be fifteen thousand descending. Dude, that one's even hitting them as well too. But it might not it might be uh fighting to pick up which one's picking up, right? Alright, so now we need to do this is we need to deactivate. We deactivate. Here, let's slow this down here. Boom. Let's activate. Activate. And then we're going to go to change output mode. We're going to storing. Storing. And storing. Okay. Let me know when I'm okay to bump again, Dopey. Try to back over the pigs. Yeah, you are you alright? Uh, yeah, there's just a bit of cat hair by on my desk. Ready? Yep. Boom. Science. If it fills all of them. Check your alfalfa grass. Yeah, we need we do need to spray some fur. Full, not full, not full. But the last time they were all, well, wait, hold on. How are the pigs doing? They're not eating almost a whole bin of food again. They're almost eating a whole bin of food again? Let me run around circles here. You, you son of a bitch. Well, I guess let's just distribute. We're obviously collecting more, but it's still... See, this is still super janky, though, right? Like, oh, not what we want, okay? This is not what we want. Not at all. By any means, this is not what we want. All right, all three are just distributing. As long as we start... As long as we can get the numbers to go up, right? On all three pens, because that's what we need. We need all the pens to be going up, which they should be. With three, with 500 sheep, there's no way it can't manage. With no way it can't manage six spinneries. Hmm. No freaking way. All right, let's go ahead and bump. Happens with the wool. Everything seems to be stabilizing out a little bit. Right. As long as they're all gaining wool and they always have wool to produce, that's what we're looking for. Right? We're always looking for the wool to be producing. All right. Okay. 
We gotta jump in the Rubicon now though, then get some stuff fertilized in. I don't know if we got enough fertilizer, boys. Yeah, you totally don't have enough. Is the pen empty? What pen? The sheep? No, it's full. We're we're at full capacity. And they're all within the maximum range for production of wool. Right, so. Need a little bit more fur and you'll be good. Yeah. Fertilizer. These fields need to be synced up here real quick. So I'm going to have to spray some fur just to get a little bit better harvest, but we won't get the roll bonus. Does none of the new grass will need to be second furted too? Yeah, but I'm going to have to do it with the sprayer though, because unless you want to roll it now, but it'll kind of screw everything up, won't it? Just do it with the sprayer. Just do it with the sprayer. That's what I was going to do. Spray it. And then I'll go hit the uh, alfalfa field up. Listen up here, uh, Ruby. That way we can sink all the fields and good to go. Yeah, pen seems to be empty for wool, so. They seem to be keeping up okay now, but it's still that narrow line. I think the 250s will probably work better. Two 250 pens. How's that silage looking? If it's at its max price, you can go ahead and sell it. We do need cash. All the bales, just purge the bales out. If they're at max price. What? It's January. Okay, you're not even in here again. I just, I'm just talking to myself today, boys. Okay. Yeah, uh, if you want to sell those off while I'm spraying, go ahead and sell them off. We really don't need any more digestate at the moment, so. Or fertilizer, so we're pretty good there. I like that pack. I can see how that's ridiculously OP, though. But then again, we also have a stupidly OP uh, biogas plant right now. So, I mean, if you're running digest it just has a lot of cycles per month right so you don't have to sit and wait for it i get it i mean plus you're making liquid fertilizer out of fertilizer it's not like you need a small amount of cycles per month right so you're just dumping one compound into a, into water making it liquid right so yeah it's pretty cool i like being able to make the, our, our own fur that's nice it allows it makes us want to it makes me want to use the biogas plant and stuff like that more often so that way we can uh, make our all of our own fur and I'm not sure how I feel about the Midwest pack yet. Well, we like to grow a lot of soybean anyways, right? So yeah, I need more beer. I use much too much brain power. I need more beer. Yeah, the fur the fur pack's great. That works. I mean, runs good and runs good. You can run it with pigs for slurry. Put the slurry into it. 
You can make, uh, make your fur down a slurry. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty wicked how much it makes all in one crack, but like I said, in real life, you'd be able to do the same thing, right? You'd be able to take water and mix it and make liquid, right, with a thing, and you could do huge vats of that at the same time too, right? Um, it's, we run, we run our grass once a year, right? So we'll cut, mow, cut, mow, or cut, I mean, cut, roll, cut, roll, cut, roll, cut, roll, right? So that way, uh, and then we'll harvest at like the next following year. We'll have a lot of grass on the field. We'll make a crap ton of bales. To cut this field, if we have all of our workers or a couple people on plane, cut this field it's like uh that field on the other side now it's merged i'm not sure but it took around 15 minutes to cut our previous field so add about another 15 minutes on maybe even shorter who knows it was like 25 minutes to do all of it like roll and cut and everything yeah oh of course i hit the fence again whoa what's this stuff That's what the alfalfa looks like. Oh shit, okay. When you're zoomed out, it looks like nothing. It's like, am I literally growing nothing? Must be my settings I have it on. Now I saw, like, I was watching a video of it when it was fully grown. It's supposed to be purple, so if it's not, I'm gonna be quite disappointed. Like, double. You know, we didn't even put the other field in. Which one? The bigger field. Oh, it's because it's not. Never mind. I don't know. The bigger grass field? No, the field eight. The one that was soybean, the big one, the one that has the building next to it. That's because it's not soybean season yet. Yeah, it's, it's not soybean season there, buddy. Uh, do you roll? Alfalfa, or you just spray alfalfa is the question. I guess we'll see after we harvest it, right? So typically we'll cut three times in one year, and then we'll cut two more times, harvest, and hopefully we can get the bales out before January, which they sell for the most on our on the safe. For this map, every map is kind of different for sale prices, right? Usually, I bail in October, so it's ready for January. Yeah. So I I hoard from April all the way to January, or all the way to uh, October for grass, and then I sell bales in January. I don't know how this crop reacts, so I, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not sure if, like, if it reacts to rolling, like, a furt, or is it gonna... I guess we'll have to see after a harvest, after we cut it. I would assume it's gonna react like grass. So after we're done, we should be able to just roll it, right? No, you can, you can, no, 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 no. If you're selling grass, you don't want to just bail, you want to look to see what the best time to something sells for. Right, so that way you get a better profit. It's okay to set your bales somewhere and just let them chill out for a bit. Um, if you if you're wrapping your bales and you're turning it into silage, you have to let them ferment first before they before they turn into silage. Yeah, it's three months, right? So then you look at the silage price and you'll be selling the silage. If you bail after if you wrap your bales right away and you go and sell them, they will only be sold as grass, and you'll get way less money. Usually the salvage bells will sell the best for in January. You should use uh, oils, uh, radish seeds for the soy field. You won't use as much fertilizer. I'm not really worried about fertilizer usage. It's mainly for the pigs, right? So soy, so soybean is for the pigs. We're making our pig food. Because we have an abundance of corn right now and we don't need corn. So that's why we're just kind of throwing this alfalfa in here. And... Uh, yeah. Yeah, man. Nope. 
Yeah, you gotta let, you gotta let your stuff ferment, and you, and then also try to take a look to see when they sell for. Your grass roller isn't on the mud hub, is it? It is. It's the uh, Dalbo, the big Dalbo one, grass roller. It's on a mod hub. Yeah, do, do, Dobo? Doldo? Doldo? Diablo. Did she just call it the Diablo? You couldn't find it? I don't know if it's for consoles or not. You sh it should be there. That's where we got it. It's under grass rollers. Grassland care. That is where we got it. Yeah, you're on PC, so yeah, you should you should find it. It looks like this. Uh, P. Construction. Oh, that's not what we're looking for. P. Mods. You're looking for this. The Dalbo grass roller pack. It comes with the smaller one and the bigger one. Yeah, that came from Mod Hub, so. Yeah, it's there. Okay. And we are now furted in. Good to go. How are the animals? Good, I think. Oh, frick me, it's already downloaded. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's go visit. What's up, sheep? Ah. Yeah, we got plenty of fertilizer now. We got fertilizer for years. All right, if we're ready to bump, the sheep got water, everything's good. Not ready, I'm selling. Oh, you're selling, okay, yeah, yeah, let me, uh, do you help, or are you almost done? Uh, you could help, I got a bunch of, um, bales over here. Come away. Because all the bales are good now. Um, the other blue one you're going to have to reset, because it's got that stupid 180 stuck on it, and I can't find the other ones to unload it. Because you can't unload just one. No, you're gonna have to find the black one. I got the trailer. Did a mod hunt last night. <laughs> I know sometimes it, gets, sometimes it gets a little confusing on which ones you might have downloaded or may not have downloaded. I can't believe we harvested that much soybean to get that much bales. Mm-hmm. Those are 240s, too. 240s, eh? Yeah. It would have been more if they were 220s. By the time I got to like the second field, I instantly regretted making those bills. No, you could just torch them into the ground. It's okay. Just because we're but I already freaking made the rows for them. Yeah, I mean, just because we have soybean doesn't mean we have to make soybean straw. Yeah, I already made the stupid straw swath, so I was like, might as well pick them up. I think I broke the truck. The axle sticking out the side. Drive shaft, I mean. Just hit YY. Why?
Then I hit the damn tree. Okay, I hit the side of it. Yeah, I noticed that the glitch uh, with the TLX sometimes steering rack swings out when you turn. Yeah. Noticed that since I've had it for a while. We first got it on Western Wilds. I was like, oh, it's a little bit, uh, got some issues. Not bad, though. Run that lady over. Do you know how many pedestrians I run over? A lot. Quite a lot. Sometimes I just make it my mission every time I'm driving through here. Oh yeah, you did a great job on it, man. Good mod. What the hell? Yeah, it's just a vis visual glitch. It's no big deal. What's up, Pop? Thank you much for the uh, follow, man. Are we selling off these uh, other bales too? Yeah, it's their pink month too. Yeah, it's their pink month. Pink, pink. Oh, your 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 pile got pwned. Whatever. Just found your show. Are you guys married? Yeah. Yes, we are. Going on eight years? Well, that's me. Mm -hmm. Eight years married, ten years together. Something like that. Well, you think we got married in 2014. That was eight years ago. Almost. Mm. Remembering dates is way above my pay grade. I'm actually surprised I didn't have to remind you of our anniversary this year. I and I and I told you about that when we first got together. I said I will not remember any dates, so if you um, can't handle that, I didn't have to remind you. I know. I'm so I to had be... to give you three weeks' notice. Three weeks' notice. Well, happy anniversary then. That's your present. You didn't have to remind me. <laughs> Good luck. You're not getting out of this one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, bro. There's no expectations on this one. <laughs> that's so awesome. I hope one day I can find someone to play farm sim with. Yeah, it's uh, just farm sim, man. You got to be able to play all your games. It's just kind of weird. This is the one that uh, my wife gravitated to, which was kind of odd because she didn't with 19. So, game we won't need counseling over. Sure. 
to joke over when we, when we play It Takes Two. Yep. That game was meant to make you hate your partner. Whoa, camera angle of doom. Ah. Got a little squirrely back there. Well, I'm sure if that game makes you hate me, but I don't hate you when we play it. The game makes me hate everybody when we play it. Not just you. It's one of those things. You hated Farm Sim? Rough. Okay, so did I in the beginning. Yeah, you didn't really like 19. No, not really. I still kind of don't. Well, because there's nothing to do just other than wiping crops, really. I mean, there's nothing, there's not much to it. I still find myself installing that game and uninstalling it like 20 minutes later. Well, why would you want to play 19 when you have 22? Well, just to see what kind of maps they have, because I was like, we only played Ravenport. But still doesn't matter. Still don't like 19. You started it on uh, 15 with Xbox. I remember playing the one a long time ago for PC. Was it 13 or something like that? I don't even know, man. I never played Fire Sim until uh, 19. Yeah, she never. You, but then again, you didn't. You you only really played a couple console games here and there, right? So this is the most gaming you've ever done in a year. Well, last time my parent, when I was a kid, last time my parents bought me a game was uh, PS1. Yeah. No, sorry, GameCube. Amanda likes choices in her game. I, I don't remember which one it was. I'd have to look at my Steam account. It's like 13 or something like that, or 11. Yeah, it's something like one of the very first ones. Whatever the first one was for PC, something like that. But I only played like a little bit of it and then I wasn't, I, I liked simulator games and stuff back like back then, but like it was, I was mainly into like real time strategy, MMORPGs and things like that. Right. And I played a couple simulator games here and there, but, uh, you know, back then there wasn't really shit for shit, you know, I mean, you got, you had like Sim city and stuff, which is banger, but. We're talking like working sims, right? I'm actually really looking forward to uh, the, the remake of uh, SOTOR. Oh, I never played it. You you would probably have liked really liked that Amanda. You probably would have really liked it because it's not really like hardcore combat. You click on something and it, it kind of like it just rolls a die for you pretty much, and then your character does an ability and it's like hey yeah, and then you just kill it or it kills you. And you, know, you can pop a heal or something. So it's more like. Um, yeah, you know, I don't. I can't, why am I thinking? I can't figure out the name of it. I'm just, I'm just have a drink. Never mind. No Did you, have today. you played Prey? No. No, I got it for the Epic Games Store like last year, or something like that, and I haven't played it yet. I just wonder how it was. I yeah, remember. I really haven't played a lot I, of games. For some reason, I thought you tried it. No, like, I haven't played a lot of games because. Yeah, I think when we got to we got together, right? Like, can you I push was, this this way? Yeah, yeah, I got him. Yeah, when we got together, the games, the, I mean, mainly I played a lot of uh, World of Warcraft and stuff, right? So. Well, for the first six months when we started living together, we didn't have any. Any technology. Any, anything, except for a tablet. 
yeah, so we really were kind of just like, you know. And then they, we got the 360. Yep. We bought a 360 and. It wasn't until we, uh, which was crazy for me. We actually still have that 360 and all the cords for it. Wonder if it still fires up. Oh, it, yeah, probably would. I mean, when we got, then when we got married, right? Like, that's when I was, that's when I got my computer that I built before the computer you're on now. Yeah, your mom brought it up for our wedding. Yeah, so she brought it over. And then even then, I kind of was, I played a little fishing planet. I played some other kind of games. Really didn't play anything too crazy. And then Gold Rush came out. And that's pretty much what I've played for like the last seven years. I really, I played a couple games here and there. Um, a lot of Hearthstone. Yeah, a lot of Hearthstone, Overwatch, uh, some Call of Duty. World of War Dorks. A little bit of, yeah, World of Warcraft again. Um, you know, just kind of bounced around, but the majority of the games that I played hour wise was definitely Gold Rush. And oh, PUBG as well, too. PUBG, I put a lot of hours into as well. It did quite well on PUBG, actually, but. Um, yeah, it was. I don't think that was until a while afterwards, though, because it wasn't a free game back then. No, I played PUBG when you had to buy it, because remember, uh, Tucker bought it for me. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, Tucker bought it for me, and then I put like a thousand, two thousand, almost twelve hundred hours into PUBG. We were, me and Bubba got to uh, top one percent in the world in ranks. We were American kids, ranked uh, in ranks. So I definitely put my. I remember when I got my first chicken dinner, man. I was so stoked. I think it took me like sixty hours to get my first chicken dinner. I, I, I originally played Rainbow Six Raven Shield. I actually used to be the uh, team leader for Team ATI. I was sponsored back when I was younger, like 15, 16. Um, I did that for like a year and a half, two years. And then I played a little bit of Battlefield. I played a lot of America's Army. America's Army, I was sponsored in America's Army. Um, and then I went to... And then I stopped playing FPS games after that for a while quite a while. Yo, Turbo Freak, dude, thank you much for the follow me. Oh, I didn't like World of Warcraft, but I strangely really enjoyed RuneScape. You 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 did like RuneScape? Strangely, and I enjoyed that one. <laughs> I was when I stopped, I was when I stopped playing because our membership ran out. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. I didn't think that you were actually really into that. Strangely, actually, yes. That's always why I stopped playing because our membership ran out. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, you did. I, al I would I always... I played a lot. I would always, I would always wake up and Amanda would be just nerding out on runescape now i just get up and play farm sim yeah now i just get up and play farm sim you started with apex apex was when i never i never got into apex I'm not really that big into shooters right now so i'll play i'll play it every once in a while but i'll never stream them though i just uh it's just because generally my audience doesn't watch me play shooters we tried. Like I said, when I was playing, when I was doing PUBG, um, I'd always play it off stream. And then one day I, I got on and played and it was like, dude, I was raking like 20 kill games, man. And this, we're talking before bots, right? Before they added the bots in. I was getting 15, 20 kill games every, every game. Like 360 no scoping kids, you know? And then uh, I couldn't ever get any viewers, man. I couldn't get any damn viewers doing it, even though I was I was a top one percent ranked player in the world, you know, and I, I just couldn't get any viewers. Like we always would ego chow, we'd always do all that stuff, man. We would never play it safe. We always go in and try to get kills, and we just couldn't get any viewers, right? So, and uh, it didn't really go over well with my normal audience, right? Which is which was around Gold Rush, a simulator yeah, game. You want to grab me another beer? Two. Oh. Uh, think. 
Yeah, we couldn't. It just didn't work. It just it didn't uh, it didn't play off. It kind of bummed me out. I I wanted to go on the pro league because, like I said, we were doing really well. And then all of a sudden, I just got rusty and I didn't play it anymore, and I just couldn't play it anymore after that. And then I just stopped playing FPS games altogether, and just kept playing only like simulator games. Okay, Amanda went to the bathroom. We're up to seven hundred thirty-six thousand dollars. That's good. I feel like FPS games are a popularity contest. That's why you don't watch them? Yeah, it really is, right? It doesn't matter how you know. Then again, it really doesn't matter how good you are at the game. It, just because you're good at something doesn't mean you're going to get views, right? You could be the best player in the world, and you're not going to get views just because you're the best player in the world. It you have to have people recognize you as that that are already famous at something, right? So, it you know what I mean? Like, you you have to have a big streamer endorse you, right? So, like, people would say, I'm the best Gold Rush player in the world. It doesn't matter unless a big, giant simulator player goes, Split in two is the best player in the world, right? It doesn't matter. So, you know what I mean? It, it doesn't matter at all how, how good you are, realistically, nowadays. You could have some guy that has sucks complete ass at the game and gets a hundred times more views than you do and you could have even taught that guy but unless that guy says your name it don't mean shit don't mean nothing most of the time most most of the time nowadays it just seems like when you watch people play first person shooters and i have a lot of friends that go back a really long ways and they're big streamers. Some of them have over three to five million subscribers now. And I used to play World of Warcraft with these guys in, in big guilds. And most of these guys now, they, all they do really is just complain about stream snipers. Really is all it is. Because they're so big, all their lobbies are just full of stream snipers. That's all it is. You, you can, and their content's almost boring to watch now because of it. So you really have to be into their personality. You really have to be because you know their content is just a whole bunch of thirsty noobs trying to track them down. You know what I mean? And then also too, in, in return, like one thing, one thing that you, you know, you have to realize is you see these guys with these 20 kill games, right? 20, 30 kill games. How many of those kills, like for instance, we'll, we'll throw shroud's name out there, right? You, you'll throw shroud. I'll throw shroud's name out there. Cause he, he was notorious for it. One, just one of them. Shroud. Most of his kills came from little kids running into him and giving him loot and him shooting them, right? So majority of his kills came from dream snipers that are just like, hey, look at me, wiggle, 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 shoot me in the face, right? How? So when you saw Shroud come up again, Shroud's a very great player, amazing player, pro player, very good. We all know that, right? But most of his kills came from stream snipers that just wanted to be on his stream. And say, hey, Shroud, you know what I mean? So, and that goes for a lot of big streamers too, right? That that stream these games. So obviously you're going to see 20 kill games every game when you have half a lobby there just to hunt somebody down. And they're not going to shoot them, right? So it's just a weird thing, right? It's, su it's super weird. There are people who uh, specifically stream games they don't know how to play properly. It, exactly like it's it's you're, you're obviously going to get flack from streaming a game if you're going to be complete ass at it like of course you're going to play the game like ass if your community is going to laugh at you it's good content but sadly most most streamers if they have a complex about people watching them play something and them being ass they just won't play it unless they play the game first then you can tell it's all fake Right. I do watch Tim's stuff sometimes. He's just fun to watch. Yeah. Tim Tim's a Tim's a great entertainer. Right. Tim Tim's a great. Same same thing with Doc. A lot of people hate Doc, but he is a great entertainer for what he does. Right? His persona, everything like that. All around. Production, just everything, right? Like if you're looking for a show or a spectacle, you more go towards Doc. Right? Tim's just more chill and you know without the persona type stuff right but there's all these different things then you have somebody like summit right summit's another great model just super chill laid back good at what he does 
bang, bang, bang. You know what I mean? Like, so you have all these, these big top hitters, right? Off cough, Dre. <laughs> Dre is all meme, dude. Dre's all meme. Like, 100% all meme. I was just waiting for Amanda to get back from the bathroom here, guys. What she got over there. Cold beer. Then to get Tyler one rage personified. Yeah. The only thing I don't like that some of these meme creators, I call, I call them meme tubers, right? They make this content for meme, right? But then people think that they're actually good at the game, right? Cause they don't get the content. You know what I mean? Let's be honest here, right? Dre is a meme tuber, correct? Am I right? That's a, a fair assumption. Or am I, am I, am I wrong about that? Dr Dre's a meme tuber. David. I think the animals are good. Okay, yeah, let me take a look here. Yeah, the pigs. So, so he, he's, a, he's like a meme tuber, right? So... So he teaches so many people and if they don't, if they don't, if they don't know that he's not a meme tuber and they actually think that that's how you play a video game, all these people are being taught how to taught by them, these meme tubers, but they don't realize that he's just goofing off, right? For, for the meme of these video games to try to sell copies and make his channel what it is to be funny. So these people actually, some people actually think that Dre is like a really good Gold Rush player, for instance, but he's not. And he's taught so many people how to play the game poorly. And that's my only issue with meme content is people will literally think that that is how you play the game. And you guys have seen it tons of time with me playing Gold Rush. Well, I watch Dre and he does it this way and Dre knows everything. And it's like, oh my gosh, I just want to put my hands on my face and cry. Because they're dead serious about it. Like, they're dead serious. Like, just because he's got a million subs, he must do no wrong. And the amount of players that will be like, you know, they, they go to follow what they did in the video and then fail and then fail and fail and fail and fail. And then they're just getting frustrated and they're getting pissed off because they watch their favorite YouTuber that made meme content, but they just don't understand the true content that's being created. All right, so... Like, I like Dre's videos. He funny job, funny on the take. I like him. Like Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, all these guys, right? Like, they all make fantastic content. Markiplier and his friends are idiots. Yeah, Markiplier's friends are complete idiots. <laughs> They're fucking complete idiots, but they're hilarious. <laughs> yeah, so everybody, everybody, makes, everybody makes content. It's up to the viewer to try to decipher, and a lot of viewers just sadly don't understand the, the full content that they're being displayed. It's really, it's kind of a weird thing, right? Dre's for people, Dre's for people f to play without uh, already play games and know what they're doing. Mm, I would say more of Dre's audience is the opposite of that, Varus, to be honest. I would say most of it is. What's that? You gonna sound asleep? Please? Yeah. I would say it's the opposite of it. another roller on sale. The one thing I can say to counter that virus would be when you watch a content creator play a game for the first time and then you watch somebody play the game that's already played the game, they already know too much about the game for you not to notice it. That's my only problem with Dre is I know he plays the games beforehand. If he played the game straight up and recorded it, then edited it, instead of playing it a little bit, getting the hang of it, it'd probably be way more entertaining for me. Because I can tell that he's already played it before. 
Like whether you just jumped on, did a little bit of blah, 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 then played it and recorded it. Right. So he's not coming into the game not knowing anything about it. Right. So. Oh, that, I, that's a mulcher. Never mind. So most most of the con the games I've seen him play, most of them, I can tell he's already played things, right? Because you can tell by how many cuts that he puts in his videos, where he gets stumped, and you can tell that it's not happening very much anymore, right? So, it, that just means he's played it before, and he doesn't. There's certain amount of fail that he wants people to portray it as, and that's also in your editing too, and whoever's editing his video, right? Like. Like, could you imagine if somebody edited my stuff and cut out all the shit? Oh, most of the time it is scripted, man. Most of the time it is. Like, if you were to go through all of my content and have a professional editor go through all of it, it would seem scripted as shit. Because that's just the way that the editor teams work. Right? They, they find uh, you and your character, and they try to highlight it as best as possible with the content that they're given. Right? So, are you ready for me to skip, or what you got going on here? Hold on, I gotta go refill the pig thing. Take your time. They're munching a lot. The pigs? How much pig food do we have left? Is the question, though. We have uh, more than we had last time, that's for sure. We're not really losing wool now at this point with three of these things going. Like, I don't mind scripted content at all. I don't. I don't mind it. If it's well done, I don't mind scripted content. Right? Like, that's one thing Dre and some of those guys do very well, is it's hard to tell that they've already played the game before. And that just means that they know their audience and they've done a very good job at it. I commend them. That's, that's a hard thing to do. Like, I wish I had someone to sit down and edit my videos. I just don't make enough money to do it or edit my live streams, right? I wish I had someone to take a 10-hour stream and cut it down into 15-minute videos. You know what I mean? And make an actual series out of it, right? I just don't have that much time and that much money to do that. That's a lot of money. Right? So. Like, think of how many videos I would have if I had a, an editor team crushing all my videos down into, into videos. Or my streams and into videos, right? Over the years. Okay, you good. I have 800 and... Yeah, blooper reels, right? Like, <laughs> it's a lot of money, man. It's so much money, right? And, and a lot of people would be like, oh, so that's where you went wrong is you didn't pay for people. I don't have that type of money, right? Like, that's insane. Even if I spent everything that I made off of streaming on that, I still wouldn't have had enough money to keep it going. Pay in cornflakes. Can I ask you all a question directly related to streaming? Sure, man. Absolutely. Yeah, man, I, I, I generally, I, I poke at a lot of streamers and stuff like that, or poke at a lot of content creators. Um, but then again, I've been around the block quite a while. Yeah, my channel may not seem like I reflect it, or I might be small or whatever. But you gotta remember how many people have watched me play. How many people have watched me play Gold Rush and learned how to play Gold Rush from me? Almost every big streamer or content creator has. Right, so, you know, I've been, I've been there. I just didn't get any recognition for it, is all it was. And would have Gold Rush gotten me to 100,000 subs? I don't think so. I don't think so. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you're the best. Like, I'm not PG. Would PG, how many mistakes do you think you would have made? Or how many this or that over the seven years, right? There's You could sit there and coulda, shoulda, woulda type of thing all day long, right? A lot. Um, can, let's see here. Let's see here. How do you advertise? Um, how do you advertise? Well, you don't want to advertise. My, my thing about advertising is this. If you're a streamer, you should be focused on being a part of your community at all times. Your community will be the ones that spread your name to other people. You shouldn't have to do anything as a streamer. Realistically, if you're, if you're, what you do is good and people like it, 
then they'll say it to other people and stuff like that. You should never have to go out into an, you should never go out into another channel and be like, Hey, I'm a streamer. That's super cringe. That's it's super, super, super cringe. Super cringe and then like low key advertising for your channel and someone else's. First off that happens is most of the time you're never going to get someone to come and sub to you or follow you ever, ever people. It, it's cringy as hell. It's super cringy. Right, like, or one thing I've noticed a lot of people do is they come in and they'll raid somebody and they expect you to follow them back and all those things right away. I get that that's the kumbaya way of doing it on Twitch. I kind of, you know, let's all hold hands, let's all share love and stuff like that. But guess what? No one's going to share love when they're not getting a paycheck anymore. You know what I mean? That's when the knives and the daggers come out and it always happens. You always have to protect yourself. You always, 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 always have to protect yourself. When someone's not getting paid no more because someone stole all your viewers, guess what? You're not going to be very friendly anymore. Right? So, one thing I have to say is, is that don't go looking at other people's communities to grow and advertise your channels. You know, so... I think our pond's getting smaller. Because we're draining it. I pulled like 250,000 liters out of it. The fact that you're so tight with your community and make us uh, feel like friends is what sets your channel apart, dude. I mean, I've been trying to hold on to that feeling for a long time. It got a little difficult for a while in the height of Gold Rush when we had like 150, 200 people watching every stream for like six hours straight. Chat would just pile drive. And it was hard for me to, to really focus on everybody, but everybody knew that that was fine. So I always just learned... That's why you always see me typing in Discord, right? I'll always say something. Discord is kind of like my Twitter, right? Where I'll just post shit randomly about what's on my brain. You know, like, hey, look at my, my food. Hey, look at this, or yeah, look at this, or I hate this, or I hate that, or... or <laughs> never look at my food. No, it's never look at my food because I already ate it before I could take the picture. It's like, oh, shit. I ate it. I was, hey, look at my fork. <laughs> No, it's all about community, man. You should... That's one thing, like I said, when I first... Like, I first started streaming, I never meant to be streaming. Never meant to stream. I've been fighting to be a streamer this whole time. Right? Because I never meant to be a streamer. Ever. But when I first started streaming on YouTube, I had no clue I was even live, man. No clue. You ready to bump? Yeah, it's 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 mainly word of mouth, right? And and collaborating with people, right? Um the the collaborating with people is one of the biggest things that you can do. Right? So like making sure that what you're doing when you collaborate, like for instance, say you say you have a friend, they have a big channel, right? And you generally should always be worried that you're their friend first versus advertising. If you're their friend, they'll have no problem speaking your name to their community ever. But as soon as you start to seem like a leech, that's when you know you've crossed the line. You got to put in work everywhere that you do. If are you're not, what? Sorry, are we using the slurry tank thing still that yes. you leased? Yes. Oh, you mean the thingy thing? Oh, it's fine. Yeah, the, that one that you leased. Uh, the sprayer? No. I was wondering why it's still taking like two, three grand out of us every month. Oh, uh, we we can actually get rid of it. Would you say that the community should be the ones who make content for you? And you have no socials to speak of? Like, what do you mean content? Make content. No, obviously you make the content as the streamer and the and, and or quote unquote YouTuber. You should always be making the content. Always. Always, 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 always. If somebody else is making your content, then you're gonna lose your you're gonna lose your viewers. And there's different ways of making content, right? Like my content is just getting on and playing and having fun and hanging out with my community, right? So that that's majority of what my content is. It's just getting on, hanging out. As you see, the chat's kind of dead, but if somebody has something that they want to interject into the into the thing, they will they will say, you know, hey, 
you know, okay, I'm, I'm going to tab out of my video game or I'm going to go into the, the washroom and, and message, right? So, bop, dude. Thank you much, man. Appreciate that so tier one, buddy. So we have 363,538 liters of, of pig food. How much? 300? Damn. 363,000. Oh, sorry. I meant it was more like clips and such. Uh, As far as clips go, the best thing I could say is, oh, we almost ran out of food. Um, The best thing I could say is, is that just do memorable shit, man. You know what I mean? Like, don't hunt for those memorable moments because then it's awkward, right? So you'll you'll know when that comes. It's just, it, it should come natural to you, right? Like if, if it's forced, it's fake. And people don't like fake. People like real. People like to feel like they can connect to you. If you're always hunting for fake moments, you might as well just go on YouTube and be a YouTuber and not be a streamer because it'll come off better to your viewers. And that's, that's not just from me doing these things. That's from me watching other people as well, too. Like, that's just my opinion of how I feel about content creators that are doing that. Like, I'm a small content creator, right? Like, I'm a super small content creator. All I relatively do is just get out and stream, right? I don't, I maybe have 40 videos in seven years on YouTube, but I have like 800 and something to a thousand live streams. Right, so yeah, very, very. I don't know why I'm stacking these by hand. I don't know. Don't ask me. Is there anything we need to buy? Mm, not at the moment. We're kind of just hoarding cash. Appreciate you already, man. Well, I appreciate you, dude, for being here and uh, and hanging out. I was trying to see if I can buy another mower. As well as uh, subbing up, man. Appreciate that, dude. The clips can be random with the uh, YouTube algorithm too. Yeah. What do you do? Do you have an auto load for all those boxes? No, we don't. Not yet. We have to add one to the server. This group. The games. He's huge. Oh, no extra mower. All right, one second here. If you want to buy an extra mower, yes, yeah, so we can go and buy an extra mower. All right, I'm just reading back the backlog of chat here. I thought you were just, you just ignoring me. Like, no, you can't have an extra mower. No. Cody, dude. Kitty cat. What's up? Thank you much for the follow, buddy. I've been drinking beer, so it's a little hard for me to read chat. I'm like, uh. <laughs> like, just like, hold on. Let me dead stare at my monitor here real quick. Mm. Yeah. Anyways, go back to what I was saying about the, when I first started, right? Not knowing that uh, you're streaming. And then all of a sudden, like, it was so weird. It was the weirdest thing ever. Cause most people are like, people ask me all the time, you know, how did you all of a sudden at one of the hardest times to grow on YouTube? How did you go from having no followers to more people watching you than you had followers? And it was just, I think it was just because I was doing it different. And I was one of the first people to do it in the game that I was playing. It was so niche, right? I think that's what I think that literally all is what it boiled down to, right? It's I was playing the game on a platform that was notoriously hard to grow on at the time, and everybody left to come over to Twitch. And you know, yeah, making sure you're making sure you're super passionate about the game that you're playing is one of the biggest things, right? I, I don't want to watch a streamer or a content creator that only plays it for money, right? Like, I've had a hard time with my main game that I play because it's so outdated, right? Okay, quick question. Your lifted truck, what bed can you put on it? I bought that one. And for some reason, you back it up and do it. That's all, that's all. I bought one, and for some reason, it won't go on it. Yeah, if you the TLX had that problem at first, I don't know. Maybe just uh, save and reload, or just reset it, reset the box. I don't know. I haven't had any problems with it. Oh, maybe you're trying to back into it wrong. Oh, that might be it. Uh, you gotta make sure you look where the hitch is at. Sometimes, it'll, sometimes when it's popped up, it's hard to tell which 
is the front and which one's the back. So make sure that you're backing into it correctly. Like here, for instance. See that? It's actually kind of hard to tell which way you're supposed to back into that. I always just look for the hitch. But that could be what you're, uh, what's going on. It won't let it put it on backwards. That could be the issue that you're having. You can tell the guy that hates the game that he's playing because it's it's slowly it's slowly you're, yeah you just you sound dead on the inside. Like everybody that knows me in real life and knows my personality, and you guys now that have been watching for a long time, you can hear how dead my soul sounds on the inside when I play Gold Rush. But I know that there's so many fans, and I know there's so many people that want to watch me play that, right? And that's what started everything, right? So I feel obligated to get on and play it. And I still love the game. I still absolutely love it. It's just, it's hard to play sometimes for me. It really is. It's really hard to play sometimes. I'm going to finish this headland down here on the side and then... Ooh, did you see the alfalfa? I have not seen the alfalfa yet. Let me uh, take a look pretty. at that. It's a pretty one. It does turn purple. Okay, I'll be over there in a second. Is there anything I can jump to over there? Oh, there is. Hold on. Oh, shit! That's cool. Better looking than grass. Pretty cool. We torture you with challenges? I mean... Just gotta do something different, right? That's why I like that's why I was saying maybe we should do some viewer challenges, right? Goop gamma dude, thank you much for the uh, follow, man. That's why I like the challenges because it kinda can re bring you back into something that you might be bored of that the fans like watching you play. So you know. You know, also too, like I was saying, being kind of like an unofficial community manager of gold rush a lot of people look to me for you know hey you know i'm kind of that gap between the developers and the community right so because i am also one of their main testers too as well right so so people know that when i say something it's not just full of shit or or a rumor or you know what i mean You know, I wish I, I wish I could say a lot more about the game. I really do, guys. Like I, I, I it bums me out. I mean, because like, I was told to hype it at one point, and then now I'm told to not say anything at all, right? So, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty. I'm just as bummed out as you guys are. Oh, you want me down with the other ones too? Yeah, I'm over here chopping the headlamps. You can, down. you can fire the worker and do it in the big one. Oh, I'm just, uh, oh, you mean me take over the thing? Yeah, you can put a worker on the small one, and you can fire the other big one. It's okay. I don't mind. These mowers are pretty good. I don't mind which one I use. Challenge, mow this field with the small, smallest front load attachment in the tractor? Heck, no. No, that's why I just bought another big mower. We just got out of a pain save. I literally just bought another big mower. I spent 380000 <laughs> She just spent three hundred eighty k. Not to do that. We're building up our mower fleet. <laughs> you know I got two. I need like seven more. We need to do all grass so we can make these turnarounds happen. How many times are we going to cut this field before we even touch it? I'd say probably three. Any more than three, the baler has a hard time picking it up. Well, we can always just... Uh, yeah, I mean, we need to see what the alfalfa is going to yield too. We might just turn everything into alfalfa. I mean... First, to see if I can mow it down with my mower. I want to see two. Yeah, so you take one mower, I'll take the other. No more challenges with no workers. It slows you guys down too much. Yeah. Yes. No, the gold the gold rush challenge was not difficult at all. It was not difficult one bit. It was just content, right? 
It was it was just content. That's all it was. I'm coming over there right now with a mower. I want to check this out. I don't know if it's ready yet. It's not ready yet? Hold on. I said I don't know if it's ready yet. I don't know what it's supposed to look like either. Hold no, on. No, it's, it's growing. It's not ready. It's still growing? So it's like one harvest a year? I think the harvest time is from April to July. Well, shit. Not ready. Listen up here, bro. Still says growing. It's growing, not showing. Not showing, huh? Damn it. We need to make them harder next time. Well, I mean, it's not necessarily... You, you gotta, we gotta remember, too, like... We can't do back-to-back -back challenges that are just annoying, right? Then we just don't want to play, and that's even worse of a thing, right? No. That's how they get one challenge a year. Yeah, exactly. That's how you only get one challenge a year if you make the challenges too stupid. I actually found a game I want to play. I don't want to just, like, not want to play because of stupid challenges. Like, the challenges bring in a lot of people. I get it. It's good for growth. But it's also horrible for us. As you guys can tell, we're junkies, right? We'll put in 300 and something plus hours in a month and just go absolutely ballistic. But that's like I was telling people the whole time. It's not realistic. We can't keep that pace up, right? It's not a, it's not a normal thing. We will chill out and just chill and play. Besides, right. like, with the no workers thing, I can do a lot more cycles if I have workers. Yeah, we can then, therefore, do more meme-style stream content. I'm not sitting there for 16 hours doing the same freaking thing. Yeah. I'm going to bed. All right, top. Like, I appreciate Amanda played with me on the, the Farm Sim Viewer Challenge. She did a really good job for your first well, challenge. Well, I don't mind doing the challenges, but like sometimes it's just like, I can't do too many back-to-back. -back. No. Just yeah, so yeah, yeah. a couple months before we do the next one. I can't jump into another one where I'm just like not going to play. Yeah, I agree. Gold Rush one-handed with pedals. You mean, like, just playing Gold Rush with one hand? I do that every day. Honestly, more fun to watch you when you guys have fun and not just uh, nonstop grind. Yeah, that's what I was saying, too. So we, we have to mix it up, too, as well, right? We can't just, I mean, we can't just do soul grind killers every time, right? There has to be something in there where we're just hanging out. Because, like, when we're... I'm so content-focused when we are doing the Soul Killer stuff, right? And I don't want to just be doing that all the time like that, so... It's just too much. I want to chill and hang out. You know what I mean? This would be a little bit much. Oh, we're just saving some cash so we have operation money. We're going to make some more money. Um, we'll buy... We'll, we're eventually going to run all of those mowers. It's just uh, we're slowly grabbing other things as we go. Get out of the way, you stupid bailer. Get out of the way. Oh, come on. Really? Like I already, I know that sat oversaturating your your viewers is a thing. Already been there, done it. Eric, this guy has spider hands. Yeah. Mhm. Mm 
People are people are blown away how how like you seriously play Gold Rush one handed on keyboard? Yes. I do. Like, how do you think I can play the game and read chat like I do? Right? Like half the time I'm playing another game while I'm playing Gold Rush. Right, so like all of Leaderboard 16 when I was stomping on Exploiter Boy, I was playing Hearthstone. Laughing at you with you guys. Right? Oh no, I was playing RuneScape, remember? That's what it was. I was playing RuneScape and Hearthstone. I was playing three games at one time. I was playing RuneScape and and I was playing Hearthstone and I was stomping on leaderboards. I was playing three games at the same time. Because remember, I'd open up my, t my tab and show you guys the games I was playing at the same time. <laughs> like that's generally what I do when I'm streaming man is I'm literally playing more than if I'm bored I'll just play other games like yeah I know a lot of people want to watch me play Gold Rush and stuff but if I'm bored I'll just play some other games in the background it's, they're mainly games that I don't have to like you know oh you're, really slow turn games right so Obviously, I can't play a first-person shooter while trying to play Gold Rush. That's just not going to happen. Yeah, man, I had to get that double XP with all my bars, dude. I'll get good. Your workers are running into each other. Why is this field not cutting when we go over it? Gap that we put in. That's okay. We just have to cut it the other way. It won't cut it this way. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go out there within a second and smoke a bowl with you. Get this field done, then we'll go smoke a bowl. Yeah, your worker up there and that other guy—they're gonna run into each other here soon. Yeah, but when he comes back, he's gonna run into him. Yeah, we're almost done with the field. This map has this this map does have a lot of weird issues. Like I was saying, I'm not trying to bash on Lancy Boy, but this map needs a lot of work. This map needs a lot, a lot of work, dude. Like, we've found a crap load of things that are just like, oh my gosh. It was enough to pass testing, but it needs a lot of finesse work. Maybe uh, that's what you should do to the challenge. Just challenge time 12x, all about the time, and also play another game at the same time. <laughs> uh. so you have to juggle a little bit more. Well, I like I said, I can only do it in certain games, right? It has to be like like base games realistically because like you said you can't play like cod and dig at the same time you just can't yeah that's the part it was the road I think it's because the field's a little higher than the road, so it's a, it's it's like a jump when the when the the cutters are going over it. It like jumps probably. So I'll keep an eye as it as I go over it here. See, it doesn't take us that long to cut this field out when we made it huge. I think we have to come over. Um when we combine the fields like on the other way. I don't know. It's just weird. I don't think it's taking it the way we're, we're doing it. No, it's not. If we, I mean, we want to mow long ways, right? We don't want the mowers to turn around very often. We want them to make really long passes. It's okay. It's just take, literally it just takes one mower one second to cut the rest of that. It just takes, it just takes one of us to you know, me or you to go drive over it. Also, these head lanes are kind of annoying. We should have done two passes on the outside, three passes on the outside, and then and then uh, down that center strip. 
Uh, the center strip after. Don't ever cut the center strip first because then the workers will stop and turn around. Drinking beers. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take a toke break, dudes. It's Friday night. Yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. I went back and did all that. Yeah, don't go all the way through yet. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, see, it just it just straight skips it. Yeah, I just backed up and did the, that side of it. 420! Yeah, I normally don't blaze while I'm streaming, but some days I do. It's Friday. It's a Friday. And it's like almost 11 o'clock at night, I think. Yeah, it is almost 11. That's okay. I don't have to wake up tomorrow at a certain time. I don't want to wake up tomorrow. I don't got to wake up tomorrow. <laughs> Which means I don't want to set your alarm clock. Yeah, please don't. I'm twisted as we speak, man. Yeah, we're going to turn it up a little bit here. Chug some more beers. Farm some more grass. Oh, damn. We're staring at enough bales and grass all day. Well, we don't... You know we don't have to put that other field in right now, right? We can just leave it so we can turn more grass and more alfalfa and see how that works. Because if we, Preferably. if you want to do that for the rest of the night, that's completely fine. I did enough soybean today. <laughs> yeah, you you annihilated soybean today. I don't blame you. I spent like five hours, five and a half hours, just doing soybean bales. <laughs> I'm perfectly okay not looking at it. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this thing. It's not. It's not cutting any way we do it. In it spots. was the other way. Maybe if I go, I'm cutting it this way, but I'm about to go the other way with the mower and see if it cuts it. Up here's fine. Yeah, farm sim looks fun, but I think uh, I'd get, I'd need to get online. Yeah, for some people, I I understand. A lot of people only like simulator games when they play with other people, right? So I'm thinking on Monday, either we play... You have the GTA, right? Oh, God. Is that a Hunter Call of the Wild, or...? You seriously want to put me on GTA multiplayer? Don't even start that demon. It's a demon road that we don't want to go down right now. I'm just thinking games we could play together. Chats are gonna be like GTA RP, GTA RP. I thought, you gotta ah! turn, I thought you gotta turn off your DLCs that you have for Hunter Call of the Wild. I don't have any. That's fine. Yeah, uh, playing farm sim is definitely better with playing with other people. I don't know if I want to open up the can of worms that is GTA RP. I just know that's one of the top things that in the baby streamers that they watch. Yeah, exactly. We look at... Yeah. You guys like your GTA, RP, and you guys like the booby streamers. In a, in, in a sense, realistically, you guys like one booby streamer, and that's Amaranth. Trust me, we can see where you guys go after She's you're so done weird. here. Did you know that 35% of your viewers split are also viewers of Amaranth? I'm like, hmm, interesting statistic. No shit. Thank you, Twitch. It does, I can't see who. I can't see who does, but I can see... In They're all paranoid to under his search here straight now. <laughs> They're like... Ah, 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 ah. Let's just move this baler out of the way. Yeah, I can't back those things in there. I don't know how you guys do it. GTA is random chaos.
Oh, you mean who is the streamer that we're talking about? Amaranth? Who do you, how do you not know who Amaranth is? The weird chick that wears like the horse masks and stuff. She's like the number one top booby streamer in the world. She's like always on Twitch. She is. She is. How I. The bitch that never sleeps. The, the bitch that never. She's a vampire, dude. I swear. She never goes outside. I mean, she does have red hair, so she might not have a soul. So. Maybe I don't watch titty streamers. Oh man. Lies. You're missing out. You're missing out, dude. What's up spectrum. I don't believe it. Do you mean you mean to tell us you guys would want to watch us play GTA RP? I mean, you're just farm some characters dressed for it. Yeah, you what's up? See this shit? They try to break into some old lady's car. No, break. I did try to break into some lady's car. True. And did wrong things to her snowman. I love how you have a nice pile of shirts and then I like a complete utter crap pile of shirts. Um, shit happens. I don't watch booba streamers. Porn's free. Is it porn? No. On Twitch, man. It's not porn. Okay. We're going to go take a toker break. Amanda, if you want. Yeah. Let's go take a tote. Mm -hmm. And we'll grab a beer. And... Why do you look like you're getting ready to go into an MMA fight? Why do you look like you're, like you're straight out of prison? No. Oh. So you know I can kick your ass? You step into an octagon. Why you want to go? Listen. Caterpillar I have on my face? It's a badge destroyer. Okay? Back up. Oh, hey! 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 <laughs> not here in public! <laughs> sure. was, I was all talk right there. You didn't need to slam slam me. Get the F out of here. What the shit, man? Not you want to take this to the ring? Take it to the octagon, huh? Do you know why she wears red shoes? So you can focus on it when she kicks you in the head. Huh. You can at least see something when I kick you in the face. <laughs> you see a red blur. All right, we'll be back, dudes. We'll be right back. We will. We won't be gone for long. We'll be right back, dudes. We're gonna throw you guys uh, some music real quick. I can remember how to do it. Oh, F that. Oh, F that one, too. That one's already sounds stupid. What the? You, you know what? Find you, your BRB screen? You don't get no music right now. That is horrible. I'm not doing Just that to you guys. Just leave one at that screen. I'm going to leave you guys staring at freaking... Uh, you know, stare at some sheeps for a little while. Yeah, I'll be right back.
You guys staring at my sheep? Get off my farm! I'm back. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> what, you guys like sheep view? Alright, this is my new YouTube channel, dude. We're gonna throw music on. We're just gonna watch sheep. All right, this is the, this is the new stream. Remove the HUD and it'd probably get killer views. Yeah. No, once I get the streaming computer up, I'm actually going to be throwing up a couple of lo-fi channels. Actually. Like, no joke. I mean, I do have other YouTube channels that I don't let this community and anybody really know about, right? But I do have other things that I do. I just don't want the communities to merge at all, right? A lot of people don't really know that. I've only said it a couple times on stream. Like, this is not my only thing that I do. I do have other things that I do do as well. Um, they're, they're, they're like all no maintenance stuff type things, right? So it's not the only thing that's tied to my Google account, right? Because I like those, th I like what I, I like my projects to grow organically, right? When I do them, so that way I don't, I can actually see the true numbers of how things work. You know what I mean? You said doo doo. Yep. All right. Well, we've cut. We just got to roll. So you ready to roll? Yep. I got over 4,000 audio just sitting on uh, your drive. All right, I'm actually going to sell the uh, shirts, so. Oh, yeah, you got shirts to sell. Yeah, I got I got shirts to sell, so. All right, I'll get this started. Yeah, man, it's all about what you're doing, right? Tons of different things. You don't just have to put your eggs all into one basket. I don't stream. This is my only stream, all right? These are my only, this is my streaming stuff. The, the split in two side of the brand, right? That's the streaming side of it. You know, the craziest thing is the split in two part of it's actually the smallest part of it, which is kind of weird. Yeah, the, um, you know, it's all about, like, I go through Epidemic Sounds, right? So I can, I can just pull a whole, their whole library out and play it. 
I can just play it right from their thing, right? I don't even have to have a music program. Now you're curious? The reason why I do it is because I'm allowed so many plays before the company won't copyright strike you, right? So I'm allowed so many plays, you know, views a month and Epidemic uses a pretty good, they have, they have a high amount of views per month, right? Cause everybody will get copyright striked eventually if you get enough views. Once they see that they're, they're losing money, they'll copyright strike you. So I like Epidemic because they have, they're very fast at their cases. Like say for instance you uh your your credit card or something like that you change your credit card and all of a sudden you don't have your your monthly subscription thing and all of a sudden you play a sound in one of your videos and you get a strike and then all of a sudden you just go and you're like oh crap well what the hell oh my thing ran out and you go put your new card in right so you can make your payment and what will happen is is they'll immediately have it the strike taken down within like like super fast all the other ones that I've used man they're Wickedly slow. Or don't even take it down at all. And you got to go through this giant hassle. You got to show YouTube your receipts and everything, right? But commercially, you have to have a commercial license to play. Even what they say, quote unquote, uh, copyright royalty free. Not everything's royalty free. After you get, once you get so many views, royalty free goes out the window. You will get striked. Trust me, you'll get hammered. That's how they trap you. <laughs> That's how they trap you, man. Why are my straps engaged? Um, I'm not sure. I really don't even need to take time loading these. I don't know why I'm trying to make them look nice. Just eat them out of the trailer. Sweated eggs wear off on you. What? I said, because what I did to the eggs wear off on you when I used to stack them on nicely. Yeah. I don't know why. Maybe it's just that I just got high and that's why. And I'm like, I got to stack this thing out. It's cell cell. Hyper focused. It's just cell shirts right now. Yeah, we, um, we've just been lazy and haven't gotten it yet. Not a new server for us, but we wiped all the old mods because a lot of them were out of date and we kind of started again. So but not, not an old save for us, but for server, but all new mods. So we haven't picked up a lot of mods yet. We're slowly just going through the ones that we want. I might listen up here. Tinkerbell stop spinning this around. Get on to the truck. Let me try to kind of loading things by hand right now. New bit it up. I thought that was an auto loader one. It's supposed to be, but apparently it, it did not. And we, did you take it to the store to see if the auto loader thing was on? Uh, no, I didn't because I trusted Cousin Bear, but maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know what I'm doing. This box is, is hurting my feelings, though. Listen up here, box. Bullshit. All right. I would have even had you loaded faster with a forklift. I didn't buy the trailer, and I don't know. It's not really bothering me right now for some reason. All this satisfying stacking these boxes. You know, I just want to paint a. I want to like pet a fuzzy wall right now. Bonk too, too much? Uh-uh. Bonk took too much? Yeah, Amanda pulled out like Scalibur and it's like, holy shit. 
She is trying to get me annihilated today. The pipe is clogged, okay? <laughs> She's trying to get me hammered. I'm just stacking boxes. At least you'll sleep. At least I'll sleep. Dude, bro, I told you I don't smoke much at all anymore, man. I lost my every tolerance. I just don't even do it hardly anymore at all. Like two big fat hits, man. You go. Shit's pretty potent too, so lay you out, man. That was a good crop, man. Pull about a pound and a half off of it. Blue dream. Because you got a high tolerancy. Right now. I mean, you smoke every day, right? So. Or I may smoke two or three bong tokes in a week. You take that every 35, 40 minutes to an hour, probably. Right? So. Or before, I used to. Dude, when I, when I was. Before I met Amanda. You know, when I was doing my medical marijuana grow stuff. And I used to t I used to smoke two or three ounces, uh, ounces, yeah, ounces a month, easy. But uh, dabs wise, concentrates, uh, sometimes like three or four grams a day, or more. I mean, I had a limited amount, right? I could just do as much as I wanted. Smoke dabs every day, all day. Yeah, so you guys got high tolerancy, right? Mine's all mine's all medical grade stuff because I did it myself, right? So, and I know what I'm doing, so it's all extremely like. Oh. Like if I was to press some of this into a dab right now, bro, good luck on even stacking these boxes, dude. Like, dude. <laughs> Dude, it would be like, I'd be like, oh, God, I need to go lay on the fucking couch right now. Oh, God, I just jumped in my truck. Oh, God, I just jumped in my truck. Oh, God, I just jumped in my truck. And it'd be like that for 40 minutes straight. Dude, it sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah, guys, would be like, uh, did Split just get stuck in like a stoner loop or something? Yes. Uh-huh. Absolutely happens. Did you it, find the nail for that? Yeah. I have yeah. I, if it was in the room. I, it fell off my table, so I couldn't find it for a while. You mean the, uh, oh, you mean the dabber tool? Yeah. I don't know where that is. Shit, man. We'll have to get another one. Shit, it's in the bedroom somewhere. Sign me up. I don't, I don't know. Figure it out. Oh, I haven't made any for a while, but I think I'm out of parchment paper, too, so. We'd have to get some. We'd have to get some. Killer Blade, if you're in here watching right now, man, or you're watching later on YouTube, thank you much for the, uh, subscribe, man. Uh, man, this is this is a pretty good sized load. Are you still stacking boxes over there? Yeah. Got a problem with that? No. Uh. Should have stacked them properly now. Now we have problems. Can't put the lime in the coconut. Okay. Because you can't open the coconut. No, no, listen here. Damn it. Go in your hole, man. No, just no. Do your thing. We only got a few more stuff in there. 
Like, go on the roof? I was just thinking the same thing. Like, we can do it. <laughs> this is how we're taking the, uh, the, the shirts there. It will strap them to the roof. Hmm? I think it goes, be... only goes up like two or three high. You would know this. Yeah, of course I would. Wonder if I can just do this. Hold on. One, two, three. Doesn't work with those. They're too heavy. Here, let's shove them in the back door. Man. Close. Access denied. As expected. As expected. Lurk it up, man. Springs Creek, man. Dude, no problem, man. And thank you very much for the, uh, what's up, dude? Turn off brain. Chug beer. Go. Yes. Relax. <clears throat> it's been a long week, dudes. Been a long, long week. Oh, it'll be so nice, man. Be able to make some progress on the monster truck arena. Or building the city. I'll be posting pictures in uh, VIP chat, dudes. I said I'll be also kind of like hanging out, just chilling uh, in Discord. So come on in. And Is say it what's just up. a career mode thing right now? Me? Yeah, it's just career mode. Why? I was going to say, if you need someone to test it there and drive around with monster trucks, I can do it. <laughs> you want to have like built in multiplayer? If you need someone to take the truck and drive it off the mountain, I'll do that too. Yeah, man. I, I am honored then. Thank you. I'm your sloppy seconds. Gosh damn it. What? <laughs> I had to. I'm sorry. It was sitting what right... You, what did you just say? It was sitting right there. I had to take it. I had to. I had to. Don't blame me. I'm sorry. I had to. It was, it was sitting right there. I had to. I had to. I couldn't not do it. I'm I don't even know what you're thinking in the first place, you turd. No, no, no. I'm not talking about you. I'm just saying in general chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> no! Making a joke because he said uh, I'm only subbed to two. I said, "Oh, I'm sloppy seconds." Then. Man, it's like what? You know, I think I don't have my monitor open, so I can't tell if you're talking to me or somebody. Else. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Hundred percent. Oh man, they fell off. What? I had to tab out to see what you were talking about. I had to, I had to full send on that one. Sorry, guys. I had to. Worth. Much worth. Okay, just stay on like that. I promise it'll be okay. Oh, ah. first freaking farm sim sub. The other one's Apex. Oh, God. Can't. I'm stuck. Oh. I don't know if I can get this one in there. I don't even know what Apex is. Apex Legends. First, it's a shooter game. Maybe why you don't really play it. You don't really. That's nice. That's nice. Pace Plant Sniper Elite. Yeah, it's about the only shooter Amanda's really kind of like. You you did play Call some of PUBG. Duty Ghost. Yeah, you did play Call of Duty Ghost for a little bit. I didn't really get into PUBG too much. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I think we got it. Five years later. This is how we're rolling down the road. This one? I don't know. We'll take it down there and see what's going on with it. 
I, I believe he installed the mod, but I'm not sure. It was supposed to be. He said he downloaded a mod that made all base game trailers. Like, but that, then I don't know what he do. I just haven't looked. I haven't really cared to. I don't know. Close the back. Hell no, dude. This is we're just look. Look at my character. Does it look like he was gonna load this thing any other way than it's loaded right now? I, it looks like what I do, but way worse. I actually closed the door to keep them all in there. Yeah, I would see an auto load key for sure. You weren't a fan of it? There, Eric. I really don't care about development teams or stuff like that too much anymore. If the game's good, it's good. Bad, it's bad. I don't care who makes it. I mean, anybody can make a, a, a flopper, right? It doesn't matter if they're a triple A or a, a one dude in his basement. Oh, we normally have auto loaders. We just haven't got them onto the server yet. Oh, I could literally just do it right now, but I'm not too worried about it. It's quite satisfying how those grass bells are just stacked in the shed. Don't worry. Our money just got here. You want some more money? Yeah, I've been hoarding shirts. Take my take my damn damn shirt. See? Boom, money. Ooh, money. Ooh, money. We can almost afford that field now. Which one was that one? That one was the big one right next to us. Want more grass? We're pretty close. I mean, I could sell some stuff like fertilizer and buy that field. Do I absolutely have to de-rock it? Because I really don't want to. No. You just got to remember to uh, repair your mowers. Time will you deceive it anyway. Apex killed Dragon Age 4. God knows EA has made some awful titles. I mean, it's not just EA, right? There's other devs that work for these guys, right? So EA is just a publisher. Right? So if the game is... If they say that... If, if, the, if the company says the game is done and it's ready to go and it's ready to ship and rip, EA is going to pull the cord and make it happen. Right? So... Pick manure to dry to liquid. Gold mine. Yeah, fertilizer does sell for a good price too, so. But where does it sell to? Is there anything we can do with honey? If you want to have, um, well, if you would like to have like sunflower. Since we have the auto distribute from pallets on, we don't have to pick up the honey. No, if, if we could, I have bigger honey. I have bigger one hunts than that.
I don't think I'd be putting it in either this field or the new field we're putting it in. Probably just pick one of the other smaller fields. For what? Sunflower. Oh. No, I have to design the field a certain way. If you want honey, I'll show you how to make honey. But. I want to know how to make honey. We just don't have any sunflowers. I can make the honey house rose like I did. Remember how I did on um, Elm Creek? Where we were producing like. <laughs> I think we have different honey. ones. I don't know if, any, if there's any modded radius ones. I haven't checked. Oh, yeah. Ma min maxing, um, min maxing honey in sunflower fields? Absolutely, there's a trick, buddy. I think there's another one on the mod hub, but they have uh, one for 19,000 that holds 33 lang strong hives or something. No, it's it's mainly the radius that they are, right? I'll, I'll pop one down here and show you guys. So. Oh, there's a mod on here that says Beehive's Pallet Spawner. It like, says X30. Yeah, we have the Beehive Pallet Spawners. Absolutely. Mm, let's take a look here. Let me, let me get my brain power together here. And um, there's one that has the production thing on it as well. The little cabin. All right, let me pop this down real quick here. Let's go for a cheapy. We'll go. All right, we pop. We popped them down, right? Now we're gonna go into the, the commands, right? And we're gonna find this guy's. Box. I remember which one it is here. Hold on. Nope. Nope. I'm trying to find out which one it is. I can't do that. Not fair. I'm just hitting random buttons now. I don't because I don't remember which one it is. All right, here we are. All right, Mr. Honey Spawner. Okay. Yes. Yes. So what you're looking for is you're looking for the radius of this thing, right? So if I go all the way out here, these damn turds will literally only spawn out to here or they will only... Like the bees are diabetes, okay? They can't fly very far. Right? Diabetes. They're diabetes bees, all right? They're they're useless as shit, and this needs to be fixed because I don't know any bee that can only fly this far, all right? That is stupid bee. Okay, so even though it's a circle around, what would you think your best option would be to run a bee like farm with like bonus crop? Okay, so the best thing to do is this. You have that beehive over there. The OBs. <laughs> so, okay. So you see how there's this Obesity. guy, right? Obesity. The obese bees. They'll disappear right when you step on it. So right here, you'd want to paint a texture line. Boom. You'd paint a straight line like this. And then you have your straight line on the other side of the field. So then you go over all the way. Right? You go, you'd go over all the way until it pops up again. Boom. Right? So then I see this intersection right it's right here. See this? So I'd put the other beehive right here. Okay. And I'd do that all the way down the field. But then I'd go all the way over on this side. So I'd place one here, right? To kind of give you an idea. You get, you place one, like say right here. And then you put the line here. And then you go all the way over here, the marker. And then you put one down here. But then you want to offset it a little bit, like right this way. And you do that all the way down your fields. And then you just run sunflower in between them and you make a couple rows of those on your field. You'll get maximum yield. You'll get out of your, out of your, uh, out of your crop and you'll get like, literally you have to have a spawner that can hold a ridiculous amount of money. Yeah. So like literally we will spawn like two or three truck, semi truck loads, uh, off of a good size rotation of honey.
Right, it's just, it's absolutely stupid. Like, 10, 10 is not enough. Your field's small if you have 10. I think on Elm Creek, we had, like, two strips like this, probably about... Let's say, so if the first strip was like this, fully maximized, and then we had another one, and then we had another one. In every bump, we were filling the biggest bee honey thing we could possibly, the honey collector pallet thing we could. Every month, every bump, it was like, boom, four or five truckloads full, <laughs> right? Like, it's just a massive amount. There's an absolute massive amount. And that was just part of our farm, right? So it was a normal thing in our rotation. We had the we had the sunflower fields, which were all decked out with the bees. Uh, we had like four or five grass fields that make this one look like, you know. Can you go into the controls on the uh, the Xbox? No, it's only a PC thing. It's uh, we have dev tools. You have to activate dev tools in the uh, the files by changing a few lines of code, and then it allows you to go through and find like see the mesh lines, things like that. Unless you can see. It'll let you see all the markers and everything, the object points. And you can see the hitbox markers. So if you're wondering why your mod may not be working, you can look through here and go, okay, well, this is right where the marker is, or this is right where the marker is. All right, so in the coding, his hitbox marker is okay for the sheet pen, but then the XML, the actual coding itself, it's shitting the boxes out incorrectly, all right? So that's just a little bit of fixing. And you can tell his lines, his X, Y axis, all of his axes are, are pooched because you can tell it right here. They're off because look, the water plane's off, right? So somewhere he had a zero or not a zero, right? <laughs> somewhere he forgot to add something in the coding, the mod, the mod, the uh, mod maker, right? So yeah, but knowing, knowing your radiuses is pretty cool, man. It's nice. I like, I like being able to do that. Allows you to min maximize things and still. All right, go away. Stop. All right, how you doing over there, girl? Okay. We got money though. Lots and lots and lots and lots of money now. Oh, I need to sell something, and I don't know what I'm gonna sell. What do we what do we need to sell? What can I sell that's worth money? Rock picker? I think we already sold them. No, there's one by the um where the corn used to be. Oh no, we're gonna need a little bit more money than that. I was saying that that's something you can sell. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need I think we're like two hundred. I don't need more than that, but that's something you can't sell. Yeah, um we're gonna need a lot more, yeah. yeah. Mm, let me see how much we actually need. Farmland one. Boom. Yeah, we need like 100k. We're actually not too far off. Uh, the air cart for the seeds, maybe. No, let me think here. Oh, I know what I can do. Just sell some pigs. There we go. Come here, pigs. Guess what? Come on, bacon. Here, make me some money. Buy me a field. There we go. That's some quick money. Any other of these things on here? Oh. Okay. There we go. How much is this thing again? 300 something? Oh God. Oh God. Oh, oh, oh Lynn. Yeah. Guess I what? I was like, what was that? Guess what? Your grass field's going to get bigger. The, but the field beside us that looks like it's just been limed. Mm -hmm. Is that field one? Yes. 
Okay. Just need to crack a beer after I just bought that one. Do you want that all in grass too? Sure, why not? Alright, let's go. I'll make it happen. Cusmer may have gotten his field, but he ain't getting what he wants in it. Put grass in it. He's come back on. He's gonna be like, son of a bitch. Bought the field he wanted, and I put grass in it. Bro, we got a soybean field. It's field eight. That's it. That's all you're getting. That's all you're getting. You only get field eight. Need a big tractor. What do we got here? All right. Okay, you are rolling? Babysitting, rolling, and drinking beer. Okay, sounds like a plan. You got one of them that's not rolling. Thought I'd let you know. Yeah, I know. How to get this one started again? We don't got lime the field. Oh yeah. It's turning to grass. No, the pig food's actually the pig food's actually completely fine. I think we're I think we made a lot we made an abundance of pig food, so Did you get enough soybean? Uh you, well you obviously smashed out the food, so and let's take a look at how much we have left for pig food. It's like two hundred and something thousand when I was when I filled it up last time. It's still produced we had an abundance of corn, right? Because I was kind of dumb and I didn't look at the ratio. And we grew a lot of corn for those couple of years. Then we also grew a lot of oat, and it all just came shoved in here. We never sold anything, right? So then we have a ton of mineral feed. And we obviously made all of that corn or that three harvests that we abandoned today, excuse me, the three harvests. So, and now we're up to 342,000 liters of pig food. So it's just going to continue to and make pig 300 food. some. Yes, yeah, 342,000. And you only go through like a hundred and something thousand a year. Yeah, so we got multiple years. We don't have to worry about it. We'll be able to buy more fields to put those crops in as we go anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. This is when they started multiplying. We only had like 52,000 in there. Yeah. No, they were full. You bought food for years till you got corn? Yeah, we, are, we stocked up more, more than enough corn. It's just actually what I did on my save. I bought the things for the ammo feed. And I bought pig food for it. It took like three of those classes to fill it. Yep. It's like a small one. Like the base game. The rares will do the rolling. It's just they go back and forth like once, like once and a half, and then they stop. They think they're done. Would love to know how I got into the controls like that. Voodoo. Oh, it's pretty easy, man. It's like literally one line of code. It, it's like literally one word. In the XML uh, game file. You just go into it with a notepad. Scroll. Yeah, if you Google it, you'll find out. It's super. It's literally super simple, man. It's easier than for me trying to explain it to you being freaking high and drunk. It's, it's legit like changing one thing from true to false. Like you just delete false and add true. No, he's talking about dev commands. Dev commands aren't a mod. Oh, no, 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 dude. It's literally, you click on one thing, it opens it up in, in Notepad, and like, legit, it's that easy. Right, so, it's, 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 and you change one thing, you just type one word. Like, where it says for you to type it. It's, it's super, super, super stupid simple. Does this field need to be plowed at all? Are we merging it? Yes or no? Should I just leave it? No? No. You want me to merge it? No, leave it separate. Okay. Are there any wonky freaking things in, in field one? Okay, no. It's actually a pretty solid field. Okay. Oh, wow. I'll check it out. Yeah, it, it's it's legit. Super simple, man. I, I just don't know what the file is that you click on. and I, I just It's been so long since I activated it. I'd have to watch the video again just to remember. Like, cause I don't remember exactly where the line is, but it's, it's right there. Sorry. I'm high too. <laughs> it's literally one line of code. It says, would you like, like dev commands? It says like false one line of what? 
One light of code, not coke. Sorry, I think I might just say coke. Multiple times. All you gotta do is one line of coke and you'll figure it out. <laughs> She's probably so WL he does need a line of coke to figure it out. <laughs> No, you literally just changed it, it to true instead of false. No coke, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, no coke, bro. No coke. Mm -mm. Doesn't need coke. Okay, I am going to grab the cedar. Maybe you a Coca-Cola. You want grass in there? Yeah. I'm not going to tell you why it's me a Monday surprise. What? Don't worry about it. What'd you say? Don't worry about it. Well, now I'm worried about it. You can't do that. That's not cool. Um, did you say a Monday surprise? I'm Farmson. You know, it's not going to be a surprise because I'm actually going to be at my desk this week, right? Doesn't mean you're actually going to be playing Farmson. No, I probably won't be playing Farmson this weekend. I got some stuff I gotta do. Did you actually turn around and see what I'm doing or how they slow to nothing? Slow to nothing, huh? Eight billion liters of silage. I could see Amanda being like the first one to legitimately hit like a billion liters and something. I got farm some problems, okay? You don't under you don't underestimate the power of one brain cell gaming, okay? I thought I went juggertard. Amanda has a weird ability to go juggertard. I've literally been playing this since the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep for like months. Yeah. And we haven't let Dopey just go ballistic. This is even before I we disappeared for five months. We gotta hold the reins on Dopey. It becomes a problem. I'm not joking you. If I turn this whole map into grass, Dopey would make all of it into grass. Monster silent. Oh no, I'm gonna have to pull it out and then in. I'm about ready just to get the damn auger. This thing is so effing ridiculous. I'm going to have to attach it, actually. Trying to pull that thing through there is just like crazy. It's the new field? What? The one you're on? No, the field's right next to us, the one that's limed. I was going to say, that better not be sugar beets. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the other field over there is limed. That's why I was like, oh, field one. Yeah, nice. It's limed. He's like, it better not be sugar beets. Did FS Club ever uh, finish his sugar beets today? How many did you get? Sugar cane. No, I think he was doing sugar beets. Nope, sugar cane. No, his title literally said sugar beets. I looked right before I went live. I was in there in the stream chatting with him. Sugar beets. I heard him talk about sugar cane. That's why I thought it was. Oh. Come on. Where's it at? Why isn't it working here? Here we go. I was like, I know I got seed in there. I just spent like 200,000 on seeds.
Come on, buddy. You can fill up there, man. A little faster than that. I'm doing corn. Two million liters so far. 380 acres. Healing stream for two hours must not have been a massive amount. Unless his internet went down again. I think it did. He's been having internet issues. I was chatting with him and he's like, bro, I wish I had your internet. <laughs> I was like, damn, dude. Because I was when I was watching him, I noticed his, his thing just fuzzed out hardcore quite a few times. So either he's overloading his internet or the company has a really bad service ping right now and they just couldn't fix it. Then he had attack output. Just, you know, is what it is sometimes. Yeah, we got solid internet. I'm very happy with it. Yeah, I'm super happy with my internet, man. Like I said, I can run two 4K streams off of it, no problem. No problem. Maybe three. Like, full 4K streams. Mm, maybe probably two before they start getting mad. No, they can't get mad. We have unlimited data. They can't. They don't throttle us in here, so... The only thing is, is most people don't watch in 4K. It doesn't matter. Right? It's just a... It's not, not mainstream enough for people to care. You know what I mean? Like, it's very, very, uh... Niche, right? 4K? Oh, I'm streaming... Guess what, guys? I'm streaming in 4K! Cool. Like, 2% of your audience can watch it. Awesome. Congratulations. Spend all that money on computers and stuff like that, and nobody cares. why twitch is smart and they just stay at 1080p you know why build all this power and stuff like that and running streams at like higher resolutions when one it's gonna make you buffer not I mean about buffer but it's gonna make your viewers buffer if their internet's not good and you're not gonna be able to chat with your chat because the delay on youtube for a 4k stream is like a minute and a half and you're not allowed to change the latency setting either on YouTube when it comes to uh, 4K, right? So if I'm streaming in 4K, I am forced to stream at a certain stream latency. You cannot change that no matter who the streamer is. There's no option for it. Plus you can only stream for two hours. Well, at 85,000 bit rate, you can stream for two hours. But I had to apply for that, like a license for that. And then, so generally, if I stream at like 35,000 bit rate in 4K, I can stream for like four hours. You know? Because you gotta think of how big of a stream that's gonna be, right? Like, oh, that's a massive file, right? It's a big old file. Okay, so you want me to put grass in here, right? Unless you want to finish Stray on Monday. I'm not going to be able to finish Stray on Monday. Well, at least do some of it. Mm, oh, we'll see. I would say, um... I was actually kind of digging when you were saying uh, Hunter Call of the Wild. Actually. Mm-hmm. I already got it downloaded. Just throw out some options for some games. Good content creators stream live 
the video release in 4K and interact with live chat. Uh, it's still delayed. It's not instant. It doesn't matter how si how big you are. YouTube, has, it's locked. It's a locked feature because everything has to be transcoded and the delay on the transcoding to the servers is still, um, you still have the same time. There's no option for it in the actual thing. Even bigger content creators don't have the option. So it doesn't really matter, matter the size. Or how fast your internet is or anything like that. You'll still get a delay. Between when they see your chat in thing, you'll get that delay. Like, no, like, pre-recorded video releases? Oh, you mean, like, um, when they, when you do a, uh, what's it called? A, a, a premiere. That, that's not a live stream. That's a recorded video that looks like a live stream on YouTube. It's actually not a live stream. They can't talk to you while it's playing and answer your questions. That's just a video that you're watching. But it looks like a live stream, so you can chat and interact. It looks like a live stream and, you know, so on and so forth. Yeah, it's called a premiere. It's called a YouTube premiere. Like when you when you hit the premiere button, it premieres. It's, you can schedule it and everything like that, but it doesn't have a, a live feature, right? So it has a chat. You can talk to people in chat, but if it's not in your video, then you know. Oh, there. Can't add anything to your video while it's live. Yeah. Like, I remember one day I released a premiere for Gold Rush. And, like, I wasn't even there. And people thought it was a live stream. It was just a video. Right? So, people were like, oh, yeah, yeah, how's it going, Split? No, like, wasn't responding to anybody. And people were like, dude, it's a premiere. He's not even here. He's probably not even at his house. And like we had all these people in chat that thought I was like legit live. Yeah, I did have people message me more. My parents asked me like, "Oh, is he live?" I'm like, "No, we're not even home." Right now, we're yeah, we're seeding what's behind us. So, right now there's lime put on the field, and then I'm putting in uh, grass seed right now. So this whole field will turn into a grass field. And we won't have to lime it because it's already limed by the uh, field owner that, that had it previously. So it's pretty nice. Yeah, people were going people were going crazy, right? I thought it was I thought it was funny. I was like, man, dude. Like where people when people join on YouTube, and they're like they don't realize it's actually live. <laughs> That's the funniest one, right? That, that's the best. Christian uh, Consuo Solo. Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome, dude. Thank you for the uh, follow. Maybe it was precision farming. Yeah, I'll take a look. If not, we'll have to lime it. Like, at least this uh, giant cedar actually can do something useful on this field. Oh, like run into trees. Knock the heads off of this here, guys. How you doing over there, Dopey? Alright, it's finished. 
Just finished it up. Mm-hmm. Oh. And that's cut number one? Yes. Okay. That is going to be one big grass field. You sure you don't want them merged? Fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. All right I need you to do me a favor then. Hmm. I need you to grab a uh, blue. Grab the plow. And uh, bring it down here. Oh, what does the plow look like? It's the big JD foldable plow. The green one. That thing that kind of looks like a cultivator? Yes. Oh, signpost. I'll plow it in if you want me to, if you want to continue to see this. I'm just doing the, the headlines right now. Sure. Just go ahead and, yeah, just bring the, just bring the plow here and I'll, I'll do it for you. I'll do it. Maybe it was precision farming that screws it up. Yeah, it's hard to say. I'm not sure. I'll get out and check. Even if it's not, it's not a big deal. Dude, man, could you imagine de-rocking this field? So I said I'm not doing it. I don't care either. Like I said, we're just dinking around with the save anyways. Not worried about it. Hell no. Exactly. Hell to the no. And this, these fields are just crazy. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I shouldn't pull uphill. Do it pick up rocks one at a time? Dude. Hell no. Mm -hmm. No. I want to. How you been, Zell? You can't make me. You can't. You can't make me do it. I don't want to. Hey, Ben, man. Been good, dude. Good to hear, man. Hopefully life's from treating you well. Let's crack some beers. Oh yeah. Up J Dog. Okay, I brought the um plow over here. Alright. But when you do that other round, can you just put a work on it? So I can go pee? Yeah. You need to go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom. Just slap a worker on this. Just jump out of that uh, tractor. Yeah, just kind of babysit. Drink beer. All right. You good? Want some dangerous elite right now? Steve. Workers, man, dude, control yourself. Gotcha, beast mode. Get out of your way. Oh, Dopey's in the way now. Damn it, Dopey. <laughs> 
Hold up, Uncle. How you doing, man? Get in line. Let's get moving. Okay. Hope he's getting pretty inebriated, boys. It's Friday. We drink a lot on fr on the weekends or the week. Fridays normally. We didn't last week or the week before, but you know. wise limit to fields no lower come on man allow create field it helps if it's lowered right not gonna work right here you own both fields it may not let me do this ditch here as the floodplain no we own it It's probably because it's got the floodplain on it. No, I can't. I can't see it because it's not raining. Yeah, we're not able to plow this because it's a it's a floodplain. It's fine. Can you another beer? Or do you have one? I just cracked one. I'm good. Uh, you try out the money map yet? Uh, which one? We'll keep them lots of new people tonight yeah man lots, lots of new people been a lot, a lot of new people lately popping on in saying hello always seems to be around the same time of night too so but it keeps us up man mm. as you're like you know keeps all number keeps climbing later on it gets night drunk asses yukon valley Mmm, that's not a new one. That's one's been out for a while, man. You're using it on all night long? You can't spot wrong. Amanda would know she lived there. Almost 18 years. Hey, we're on the short bus. Don't hate. You went to school with Parker, didn't you? Oh, shithead. Yeah, Amanda grew up around them. Not my favorite people. The rich people in the north? Pretty much. You were, you're two years older than him, so you're two grades ahead, right? Mm-hmm. Little brat. I think it's funny that uh, we were watching Gold Rush one day and Amanda was like, oh, I've seen this numerous times. And Tony Beats sitting at the diner that her yeah, and your friend's family. Yeah, the airport family. where I'm like, well, I'm like, oh, well, my, my pretty much sister 
his family owned that restaurant. Mm -hmm. I spent most of my childhood at the restaurant. Yep. So you got to see all Let those alone, guys before. I've seen him multiple times. Yeah, man, it's like nothing special. It's, like, it's kind of weird that I play Gold Rush and you grew up around those guys. You probably do better than they do. Probably do better than they do. You didn't get to see Tony when he's on the sauce. Sauce up, Tony. Yep, Amanda grew up, Amanda grew up in that area. What's she saying? What was it, 18 years in Whitehorse? Well, I left when I was 16, so. Okay, yeah, so. It felt like 18. It's like a tight, it's like a time warp when you live in there. You still have t white horse tendencies, like your sleep schedule and yep. your whole family does, man. It affected you guys for like the rest the of your lives. Like the summertime, staying up till six in the morning just so you sleep through the day. Yep. No, it's, it's, I'm not joking. It affected her whole family living in Whitehorse for as long as they did. My brother was just born when we moved there. That's a pretty wild readjustment, right? If you think about it. So how do you feel about the daylight and the nighttime cycles down here versus uh, up there during the year? I like my black curtains. Well, I mean, like, how it doesn't get dark for a certain period of time of the year. I mean, in the wintertime, it's not that bad. Like, I mean, Always like, dark. in the wintertime, it's always dark. Like, you go to school at 7, 6, 37 in the morning, the bus will come pick you up. In minus 40, you go freeze your ass off, the bus will break down, they still make you go to school. And then when you get home, it's dark. And in the summertime, it's always sunny or just randomly it's like dark as shit for like weeks or it's like mid-June and it's four feet of snow, six feet of snow. Yep. Seasons change pretty quick up there rapidly. Fronts come in. This thing's a beast, but it's still gonna take a bit to do this big field. Yep, Alaska, pretty much. Pretty much Alaska, um, the Yukon, just outside the um, Alaskan border, like so many miles or so. Yep, Haines Junction, the Yukon, White White Horse area. I wonder why it wouldn't let Alaska come through. That's really weird, right? I don't know. Is that odd, Ryan? Is like maybe because it's close to ass. It would be nice, just my advice is stay out of the towns. Get what, you, get what you need and get out of the town. Outside of the towns and the outside towns and like the middle of nowhere type places are perfectly fine, but then in the actual main towns like Whitehorse, stay out of it. Not worth it. So pretty much if you're going for like scenic Scenery and stuff like that, and the nature is fine, but stay away from the towns. We're going for like hiking, wood stuff. Want to see bears? Want to see pumas and all that kind of stuff? If you don't want to see the stupidity of the Yukon, stay out of the towns. I forgot to look back and see what it was flagged for. Yeah, it's kind of weird. This field's having a hard time with these, uh, these hill, this, uh, this tractor. 
Um, the only time you're gonna see the midnight sun is if you're in the Yukon in like the midsummer. And it's not really like a like a sun, it's like like a dim light, but it's like So midday sun? Mid well Well, you don't really see it. It's like it's it's kinda of hard to explain. So midnight sun. So a a real dim sun? Yes, but you can't actually tell that's the actual sun. This hell's ass. Forty-four bottles of beer on the wall. Well, we only got thirty, so... <laughs> Take one down. Throw it on the ground. Damn it. Bill needs to hurry up. The damn up the uphills are horrible. Not gonna lie, when I brought you the um plow, I looked at the size of the field and I was like I'll bear back I got you. <laughs> I'm I'm out of here. You just dipped on me. I think I'm gonna be mowing this field. <laughs> And rolling it. You might have some grass problems. A little bit. It's either turn it into grass or before it turns into something stupid. Mongo I'm thinking up, like downhill. like somewhere in like this square, like in between the grass field up here and the plants up here. We should do like a square and just put like a line of like grapes in. Just to like see how they grow. You wanna try the grapes here? Like just like a little bit of it, not like a whole lot. Okay. We can do that here uh on Monday or something. The grape stuff out? See if, what we're getting to, like if we actually need to invest in grapes or anything like that. Oh, well, we'll definitely have to get some specialized equipment. Well, that way we'll... we can do cereal eventually, because like you have to have raisins to do mm -hmm. cereal. Yeah. And that's one production we haven't done yet. Okay. And we can uh, we can play with the grapes here soon. I'm missing some areas, but that's fine. Just trying to keep this tractor not climbing up this hill. This hill is just too ridiculous to cl try to be climbing up. To make a good hay field? Nope. This is This is going to get turned into a monster grass That's silage. That's a silage fact. field. These are all silage fields, boy. <laughs> These two side by side, those, those are silage fields. <laughs> if anything, the smaller one is for gra uh, is for sheep food when he needs it, and that, the big one's for silage. These, these are... Silage fields. Yeah. Three to four cuts each. I don't even want to look at how many liters this thing is saying. It's going to projectedly project yield, but. Oh, times four. Oh, oh. Kind of curious. Um, it's just, just run over here and take a look. Just, I don't know if I want to know the number. Where does it say that? Be the field info number. On the map. Might not give you the full number accurate, but because I don't have all the grass planted. Eventually, we got to get the biogas plant fully rigged up. But now we have enough fields to feed the beast, so... Oh, eventually we're going to have the whole map probably grass field, so. Yeah. Each little field will have its own mo mower uh, gravaganza little team, and we'll just pop them out, put the workers on them. Boop, 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 boom. The whole map will just <laughs> mow the grass fields down. You'd have to shut me because I have no idea what you're talking about. Get out and look at the field.
I am looking at the field. I still don't know what number I'm supposed to be looking for. Uh, I guess it's not seen. It should say field info. I see uh, owned by field one area, land area, crop type, growth, yield bonus, fertilizer, and needs rolling. I think it's because I have to, uh, I think it's because I have to, uh, finish the, uh, the, the field. No, go look at our other field. It'll it, go look at one of our other fields to see what I mean. It'll tell you the yield. Is this a drunk stream? Yeah, it's Friday. Apparently. Yeah. It turned, is now. Turned into being drunk. Here we are. No, it says the same thing. Yours doesn't say yield on it? It says yield bonus. I think it has to be ready to be harvested, maybe. I don't know. I forget. I don't know. I've never... You guys keep talking about this. I never see it. Mm, I don't know. Need to pick up stones? I'm not picking up stones. No, you can kiss my ass. Right, we ain't picking up no stones. Hell no. The new DLC is coming out Monday. The uh, Vermeer, right? <laughs> Needs to be ready to harvest, yes. Yep. We have the season pass, so we will have all that stuff. Okay, come on. Why did I go back this way? Why did you guys pick the most freaking fields with the hills? Because they're it's right there next to us. Because you were looking at the cousin bear. I don't know. This is the only reason why I liked Western Wilds the best, because it was all flat. Yeah, we know I you're a fan. I hate hills. Going down is awesome. Going up them sucks, but... Hmm? Do you need a big bud? Yeah, I don't doubt. We need something bigger for this hill. What's a big bud? <laughs> it's not a bud, Amanda. <laughs> oh, it's not something I can jack out of the drawer? No, we do have big buds in the drawer, but it's not it's not what he's referring to. I don't know, like you guys keep like you keep talking about this. So I'm like I'm like looking in the drawer I'm looking for a big bud. No, we it's the one the big giant tractors we had on uh, FS nineteen. I don't remember that's many, many, many moons ago. Yeah, it's like a thousand. They have bigger, bigger horsepower, massive amounts of horsepower. Wait, is it green? It's not only the new equipment. Yeah, like bail counters coming with it. What else? Are they putting something else out? Oh, free equipment. Hit us up with the info, man. What's coming out for free? Fifteen meter wind rower. Hmm. Liner. Maybe we do work right now. Scrolling up, bro. Gosh damn it. Like I'm not gonna lie, Richard. The color of your 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 uh, your name on my screen right now makes it to where your comments are like invisible behind Tiger's pink giant text of his name. <laughs> Like, it's so bright. I'm like, ah, Richard's comments just got annihilated. Barbie pink. Then Pops is like so bright green, I thought a Ninja Turtle took a shit on my screen for a second. 
Those shells are green. Yeah, it's the same. Big, bright, and green. Maybe I might have just got my colors wrong. I don't know. I might be smelling colors soon. I'm pretty sure you are smelling colors. <laughs> I'm smelling colors. I got colorblind mode on. I should just turn that on. Hopefully they smell good. Oh, Master Tater would know. He was sniffing markers all yesterday. Apparently. Those paint markers? The smelly markers. The one we were talking about like a month or so ago. Mr. Sketchies? Yeah, the Mr. Sketchies. If he was smelling Mr. Sketchies, he wouldn't be complaining. Those markers are amazing. I think he was smelling Sharpies. He, smells, he was smelling Sharpies? The big giant Sharpies? Permanent markers that smell like asshole. <laughs> the cylinder's like a foot around. You can make it. I feel like you pull it any faster with more horsepower. It's your plan all cracked out. Watch the compilation of John Deere tractors catching on fire. That sounds fun. Heck yeah. Mm hmm. I kind of want to try potatoes, but I don't want to do it like a huge ass show with those tiny ass pieces of crab. What? I said I've never done potatoes. I kind of want to try them, but not with those crabby pieces of this shit. There isn't anything better. I'm saying what well, something eventually comes out. Nothing's probably gonna come out unless you're gonna play with something that's like ridiculously crazy. Potatoes are just one of those harvests that are ass. Kind of like a small strip. Oh, we can... not like an actual like field of potatoes. No, we can make but we can make a small potato field. We don't need a stupid potato field. I just want to try them because I never did. It. You never seen the potatoes harvest? It's nothing special. Nope. It's like sugar beets, pretty much. It just looks a little different. It's just knock like it off beats. my list. You want to knock it off the list? Well, we could turn all of Stone Valley into potatoes, and then we'll knock that off the list permanently forever. Not unless people pay me like a lot of money to do that, because that's not that, that's gonna suck. But <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's gonna be horrible. That's that's really gonna that's really gonna suck. Do this whole map in sugar beets, Amanda. That's pretty much the equivalency. No. So I like a grape sized like strip. Yeah, we'll get there. Stop changing your mind all of a sudden. Give me a second. Still still fertilizing your still putting your new field in. I saying eventually, not now. I'll do it right now. I'm gonna do it now. Mm-hmm. Right now. We're gonna put in five thousand rows. You got to finish them. So I think as you know, I would. Yeah, that's the problem. No. I'd like to go to bed sometime soon. What? No, not now. Eventually. No. What? Why would you say eventually? 5,000 rows? You'd be here till next year. 
And not 5,000 rows, like actually just trying it eventually. Of course, absolutely. I'm just messing with you. You good? God damn, stress me like I have yeah, harvest 5,000 potatoes. <laughs> 5,000 potatoes is like, potatoes have a lot. They yield a lot. They yield a lot of liters. I'm sure. That was my introduction to farming simulator on stream. First stream, everyone's like, do a contract. Do this field in potatoes. I was there for eight hours and I made like 20 grand. And everyone's like, ha, 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 ha. We got you split. And I'm like, ha, ha, ha. Fuck this game. Never playing it again. Yes, suck. Terrible viewers. Why would you do that to somebody? Horrible. Horrible. Horrible people. Yeah, why would you do that to somebody? Yeah, you want someone to love the game? Why would you put them through hell right off the bat? And then expect them to continue to want to play a horrible ass shit? Like, that's... <laughs> like... Look, why don't you play Farm Simulator anymore? Because you guys suck as viewers. That's why. I'm going to go play Gold Rush. Oh, I stopped playing 19. That's... We suck. You suck. Plain and simple. Potatoes. That wasn't this chat. This was a long time ago. Horrible. Oh, this is like the first gen chat. First gen chat, yeah. Toxic troll syndrome. Oh, we missed plenty of spots. Yeah, it was horrible. I was like, you know, and, and all we had was everybody, everybody wanted to flex how many hours they had constantly because it was my new game, right? I got to be the sh I got to be the guy that shows the Gold Rush Pro how to play farm sim. Everybody, no matter who I talked to, I wanted to play multiplayer, but kids wouldn't stop trying to freaking hour Andy me. Okay. Then calm the shit down. Like, I don't care. I don't need you to come in here and tell me how to play this game while I'm trying to stream and have fun. You know what I mean? Like, I don't give a shit. You've only got 500 hours on farm sim. Finally? What the hell, man? I have like almost a thousand. Yeah, and we were gone for five months. How dare you? You insult us with that 500 number. Go go back and play more. Come on, man. I almost got 500 last month. <laughs> we're just messing, dude. No, yeah, it was crazy, dude. It was. I, I did not like playing Farm Sim, streaming it. You know, we had a lot of viewers. We had like 150 plus viewers watching us on YouTube back then, stream Farm Sim 19 when it came out. But dude, I didn't like the viewership. It was too toxic, man. Way too toxic. Everybody was just trying to, sh I want a backseat game times 10,000. Right? Like, and every, most, most of those people were wrong, which was weird. Like I got 4,000 hours in FS 19. You need to listen to me. And then when I show them and prove them that they're wrong, they just turn into toxic little trolls because they didn't know what they were talking about because they hadn't played 19 yet because they had potato computers and the game wouldn't even boot up for them. And yet they're sitting there trying to tell everybody on the internet how to play the damn game. And they were completely wrong. And then they just turned into assholes. I don't know if, was that just like the night? Was that like the crowd that 17 and 19 brought around? I don't know. I'm asking you guys. Cause I don't know. I don't know like how far this goes back, but I know the difference between now and and then is completely different in the viewership. Everyone seems to be just chill and laid back. So I'm glad that that's a change, man. Because holy shit, dude. That was annoying. <laughs> Only 500? Those are some noob numbers. You get made fun of for 500 hours here. Our average saves are, t are 400 hours. We'd average our last two saves together between Elm Creek and Western Wilds and be 400 hour saves pretty much. And we just pulverize the hours pretty quickly. All right. <clears throat> this field is now done. As long as I'm going to get it. Cool.
Were we putting in a crop for the other field? What were we doing? If you want to. Yeah, we probably should put some more soybean in there. I mean, unless you just want to bump and, bump and go. It's either that or we turn it into grass. Oh, what? how's the alfalfa doing? I, I, I really want to see that, actually, and I want and we're kind of running out of time here, so. Uh, April to July. Because I haven't eaten anything today, and I've had a lot of beer, and I want some food. So. I am, the weed has made me hungry. I actually don't mind cotton. ADHD and ATS don't mix. Uh, I can't, I can't play, I can't play ATS anymore. I got Montana, I got all the DLCs, I've been trying to play it, I've been trying, I hook up my wheel, I do all that stuff. And I literally pick up a load, I drive it just out of city limits, and as soon as I hit the highway, I just want to fall asleep at my desk. Just can't do it no more. I don't know what it is. I do not know what it is. Goal, uh, Ravenport was the only map that we played on 19. I think we put about 350 hours into it. And once we got everything that we wanted, it just, there wasn't enough in 19, right? There just wasn't enough. It just wasn't, everybody knows that it just wasn't enough. And I already realized that this was not going to be enough the whole time. And I didn't want to wait for mods. I didn't want to pay into a ton of things. So we just said hell with it. Can we, uh, stack this food up here real quick? For the sheep, mm -hmm. so we can uh, we can bump to check out this alfalfa real quick. Because I kind of want to check the alfalfa out. I haven't uh, not seen that, so. We need to reset this uh, trailer, right? Yeah. Okay, it's reset. Time to sell your silage, huh? Yeah, we go three to five hundred hours. All right, which stuff? The uh, bales on the side? No, these bales right here. The, the bale for the food need to be stacked up so because they're not lined up there right. Oh, okay. Uh, for the uh, sheep. Sorry. Yeah, it was pretty until a game glitched and the tire fell over and I just stopped giving crap. Yeah, just just give her a nice stack over here. I was just mad. That's no, like, I those aren't. Up. Those are not bales. Don't pick these up. I'm moving this one away so we don't try to pick it up with the thing because then it's going to glitch out the trailer because I don't have any more. Uh, it's a 180. Okay, the other ones are fine. The other ones by the cell pad are fine. The two forties. You were almost about ready to pick up a one eighty, and then we had to reset that trailer as well, too. Yeah, well, you can unload two, but you can't unload just one. Yep. So once you're done, I'll uh, throw that on the pile, and then we'll let me do it. I'm a sale your silage. Sheep. All right, one of these bells are not correct. Cause it says only one bell type is allowed. Unload it then over to the side and drop them I don't know what these are oh these are those bales that messed up because of the thing they're are those the 150s no these are 240s these are 240s but look at the bale the size of the bale see how they're all different it's because they tried to convert themselves to silage when they were wrapped, and then Mofo tried to stick them into the barn and unwrapped them before they were done. So it actually glitched them out and made more grass. Oh, okay. Out of the bales. So that's why it's telling you that they're different size bales. See, something did it again. It, there's more of them. That's why. We might have to hand stack these till they're gone. Here, let's just hand stack them. Just drop them off. We got to get rid of all these bales. No, put them to the other side if you can, so we don't have to keep stacking them. T9, really? It was on sale, man. We paid $50,000 for it. Don't be hating.
Yeah, we gotta let all these bales get eaten. Let's get this tractor out of here. Tell John Deere tell, pays me money to say green is the best. I'm, I don't care what tractor I play with. Green sucks. Yeah, exactly. Green sucks. Pay me money. No brand loyalty here. Are your bales trying to rotate on you too? No, that's me. Mine are just rotating on their own. Holy sh. That's because uh, you overclicked your metal scroll mode, so you gotta click it again. Weird. My, bu my button wasn't locked though. It's so odd. Yeah, it'll happen. Even if you think your button's not locked, it probably is. That's odd. Never really had that. Mine does it too. Yep, just get them all on the pad so we can get all these all these weird shaped bales gone or odd odd counted bales. You just started Hunter Call of the Wild, man. Oh, yeah, dude. Had to take Amanda. Hunting. I'm just about to. Yeah. Amanda's first time. We'll, you want to play Monday? Yeah. Might as well. We can, we can play Monday. I'm down, to, I'm down to play some Hunter with you on Monday. Well, we got to wait for Shane anyway. Mm -hmm. We don't have to wait for Shane, but. Well, it would help. I mean, I don't really want to play right first thing. I'd rather jump in and play something else, get some coffee, hang out. So if we so. start with Farmsim, we're never gonna get off Farmsim. Yeah, well, we're not really gonna be streaming Farmsim on YouTube anymore. So, uh, yep. <clears throat> okay, stack them up over there. Farmsim is a Twitch thing. So, okay, you ready for your bump? Yeah. I really want to check out this alfalfa. I want to see if it reacts like grass. I don't even know, man. I haven't touched it. Well, when did you plant it? Mm -hmm. Well, let's go take a look and see if it's done. I'm going to bring a mower over there. Something, it can only be harvested in like April to July, so... I just don't think it was up and ready to go. Nope. I still got to spray the other grass field over there, the big one. Because I don't want to go roll it at this point because I want the fields to line up. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at it now. It says it's ready for harvest. Come over here and take a look at this. Hit your map. Click on the vehicle that's right next to me. I don't vehicle. Have. That way you don't gotta... There you go. And then just jump out. That way you don't gotta tab through everything. Yeah, it says ready to harvest now. You can see the number. Ooh pretty hmm I think it's ready to go that's ready to harvest you guys said chop it down with a mower mm, good okay. I'm just gonna run through it
it's pretty organ? it's pretty much the same thing as grass I mean they said to mow it down with a mower I don't know how to do this I've never done alfalfa no it just looks like bur purple flowers Will I let it grow more? Because some things can grow past their thing. If it's if it looks like it's treated like grass, right? Or will it grow back? Like, do I have to roll it? Thought you used your harvester? I don't know. Dopey, grab a harvester. Everybody was saying you just mow it down. Come on, big brains, let's go. Where's the Is there a difference between mowing it and harvesting it, or what? Yeah, I'm coming, Pinky. Come on, Pinky, bring in harvester. It wouldn't let you cut it? No, it's uh, alfalfa. I mean, if I look at my one field, it would tell me I'm yielding roughly the same thing as this one. Where are you going now? Gosh damn it. I'm like, bring me harvester. She just gets up and leaves her desk. Damn it. And she's in the other harvester. Come, come on, man. It's like, hey, you just have to roll it. I mean, mow it. Okay. There's no reason to bring a harvester over. Okay. Oh, it does. So yeah, it is. It is acting just like grass. It just looks different. That's all it is. It's just like grass. How many times can you harvest this in a year? Just once? Because if that's the case, this is ass horrible it looks cool you would think it would yield more biomass it's just pretty grass yeah and you can only cut it down how many times a year because it told me 400 and something thousand off this field and that's kind of roughly around the same thing um it just needs to be mowed amanda Okay, I'm coming. Low mower when it's the fastest mower in the game? Unless you're using some junky mod? I just want to see if it does it. Well, that's not ready yet. Oh, it's, it's one of the... not ready? I don't know what's going on with the side stuff here. No, it says it's ready to harvest, it just won't cut. Another one of those from a different angle. Maybe. Just a weird field. Yeah, it's gonna come in at a different angle. Or not. Field edges are a little bit gross. No, the harvester won't take it down. No, yeah, yeah, we already established that. Just notice a potential harvest thing. That's awesome. 
something lost with precision farming. Yeah. Like I said, precision farming is nice. It's cool. But it got kind of old real fast. And people would be like, well, it's closer to being real split. Yeah, but if you're just going to hit auto and turn one button on, base game is actually funner to play, in my opinion. For I think base game is actually funner. Precision farming is just the same thing. It's just one button go. I mean, unless you're actually going to, like, Pablo freaking Picasso your fields and put different crops in on different types and everything like that. It's just all it is is just giving you a nerf or a buff, right, for doing being a good boy. Pat on the head. You know what I mean? Oh, here you go. You did every step. Even though it's complete ass. You did every step. Good boy. Pat on the head. Here you go. When in reality, you just F it and just say screw that and just skip a bunch of processes that take a horrible amount of time. We're talking base game, mind you. Yes, I know. There's a billion mods out there to make things go 400 times faster. I get it. But we're talking base game mechanics, guys. Leave mods out of the equation when you're thinking about the base game. Like the way that the core values are tuned. Too many people rely on too many mods. Like base game is still base game. Like values are still values, right? So. I'm glad I switched because I went straight to precision farming. Didn't even try base game till now. And you like base game better? Or precision farming. Well, I guess you just... I mean, now, you, now you're playing with it. I kind of like the old two fur. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I think it's a solid game without mods as well, too. That's why I try not to stray too crazy with mods, right? I mean, mods are nice, but... Mods aren't everything in a video game. You like base game way better? Yeah, it's... I don't know, man. It's cool. Uh, I, I like it. I like the rotation. I mean, you still have... I don't like this fence, though. So you it's still like the same thing. I can just come over there with the roller and just roll over and pick it up again? I believe so. I don't know if this stuff regrows, though. I don't know how alfalfa works. I haven't... I will have to try it out. I'm not sure. But uh, we'll definitely... What the hell? Squirrely mower. Um, we'll have to try. Just uh, go, let's come cut it down and... Cut it down real fast here because we're running out of time tonight. So... What? Our tractor are you looking for? I found it. Oh, okay. Okay, you're gonna bring the rollers? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll bring the mower. Yeah, base game's fun. I like the I like the seed. If you have a seeder that can fur, you know, you seed, and then you let your first stage crop grow up, right? Once it pops up and it's like, hey, I'm here, then you give it a you give it a fertilize, right? And typically base game, that's when you would spray some uh, herbicide as well too. And you'd be good to go. Right? You don't need to overcomplicate things. I mean, sometimes overcomplicating things is fun, but I mean, base game wise, they did such a, they did a pretty good job. The only thing I don't like about the base game is how they weighted the mulching and rolling so low. And you know, so yeah. If you have precision farming in your thing and not turned on, then it's not activated. But if it's turned on, it's activated and you're probably not farming correctly. You should definitely learn how to play the base game first before playing with precision farming. Like if you don't even know the basics of crop rotations or or crop, you know, feel like be able to put in like fertilizer or liming or when winning to plow or when to do this or when to do that, you probably should not be playing with precision farming. Yeah, you're gonna have to wait to uh, do anything with that uh, roller though, because I'm trying to get this done. It's just gonna do that one strip. What's up, low player?
yeah, you're getting boned if you don't use precision farming. Yeah, if you, if you if you have it installed and it's active on your your save and you're not using it, you're getting screwed. So you definitely need to. Uh, it's, it it might be a little too advanced for you, man. I would delete it to be honest. If you're new, you know, learn the basics between you know seeding and things like that and when to do it versus and and, and stay away from the complicated crap. Just start learning how to get harvests out and not going broke. No, I'm rolling and it's not doing nothing. You're rolling and it's not doing anything. Nope. So this crop is a one and done type of thing, huh, boys? The rolling does not add fertilization state. No, it does not. I'm not seeing it. Nope. I did a chunk and I jumped out of it and I checked it and it didn't do nothing. It just says harvest. Harvested. I don't. I think Fertilized it's a one. fifty percent on either side, whether I try to roll it or I didn't. Which word sensors this? Yeah, pretty much. Um, can you turn that other guy off? I want to see if we can bump this crop and if it gets bigger. Like, I don't. I don't know. I don't think it does. I'm not sure. I've never done the alfalfa yet. I just wanted to see the crop versus trying to min-max it. It's I, pretty though. Yeah, it's it's a cool crop. It looks cool. Pretty nice. Need to windrow it and then bale it. Yep. So it's just a one and done crop then. You don't it doesn't like come back or anything? You're like if I spray fertilizer, will it come back? Figured it was a regular ferting type of thing. I mean, I have I have the fert sprayer right here, right? So. Someone says it will come back. Oh, it will come back. How many times do you, can you cut it in a year then? Yeah, it says harvested. But then again, so does um, so does sugarcane, right? Maybe three or four times in a year. And all I gotta do is spray furt on it, and I don't gotta roll it. I mean, because what we do is we'll just leave it on the ground. We don't have. I mean, we'll just leave it on the ground. If it's gonna yield more, we might switch over everything over to grass. I just have to run over here and spray furt on it with these big giant freaking Rubicons. We'll see. Yep, it sprays. Yeah, it sprays, so we'll we'll bump in and we'll see what happens. We have four harvests in that short period of time, so it's a fast grower then, right? It's gotta be. It's only, it's only got like four months of harvest time. Yeah, it must be just a banger. Oh it's my gosh. It's only got two left. We might need to, we might need to switch over to alfalfa if that's the case. We're gonna, we're gonna be Barney Farms over here. Growing that purple sticky. Can't even see the field because the damn render distance because my thing's turned down. And this field is crashed over here. I mean, I like the purple on it. Mm -hmm. It looks nice. I mean, if it's if it's cool, we don't have to just do grass. The purple is kind of cool. I like I like seeing it. But it's gonna yield the same as grass. I mean, you like said you, you want to make silage, right? Mhm. Mm 
People, you guys are saying you can make silage out of this. I guess we'd have to test it. Let's find it. Amanda, actually, yeah. Go grab the, uh... Baler? Grab the baler and see if you can make it and you can wrap it. People are saying you could. If you can't wrap it, then we're not doing it anymore. We'll just turn it to grass. Come down the road by the uh, field over here and see if it'll turn into the thing and then see if you can run over and wrap it. I'll just run over the side and see if I can at least make one bale out of it. Don't hit me. Don't run into me. Move, please. Big sprayer. Oh, technically, I didn't hit you. Big sprayer here. Yeah, we just need to get the uh, mower uh, in, the, in the middle here. I can't, I can't speak right now. My brain's shutting off. I need food. That thing's over there because it likes to lag everything out every time you go near it. What, big and ugly? No, the freaking stupid JD freaking DB120. Yeah. Big and ugly. Did you take that mower away or are you going to finish off the strip so I can finish this uh, thing off? You just told me to go get the freaking baler. No, like let the mower finish its job. I got to wait for this thing. Man, th these fields are horrible. I don't know what he did. I don't know what happened. I don't know what he did. I don't even want to begin to imagine why these headlands are, are so horrible. Like, all of them are like this. This, this mower's going to finish it real quick. Just, yeah, you're good. Just do what you... Yeah, I knew it would. That's why I took it with me. <laughs> I do it, would. You're dumb. You suck. <laughs> Sounds like you just told me to go get the baler. I'm just curious if we can wrap a bale. We don't have to do a lot. So I said, I just want to see if I can at least make one and wrap it. Yeah. I'm trying to get the field sprayed. I'm trying to go make some food. I'm curious at this point. I've never done the alfalfa yet, so. I like the crop. It looks kind of cool. Looks like some weird Looks watermelon pretty. on the field, though, with low textures. Kind of butt. Whatever, this is not green. They got Ninja Turtles insides, but hey. But, like the pattern on the field, right? Like texture of the actual field at far distance. A little too aggressive on it. This field needs some love too on this uh, bottom end down here. A lot of his headlands are messed up. Almost every field that we've bought in so far, the headlands have been messed. Stupid fences. We already know the workers do that already anyway. That's why it's always good to do your headlands around, but this field's not letting me do it. Same as same with the other one too. I couldn't even plow some of the other fields either on the ends because the damn the damn script for his floodplains messed it up and you can't plow anything, right? So The only problem is is it I just want to see if we can bail this here tonight, guys. Because uh, we can't just keep pumping. I, I gotta make food and everything, so. And no, it's, it's, it's. Let me pick it up at the baler. Okay. Do a row, and then. Now is, is if we can, we wrap it. So far, I sold half my bales and made $530,000. Yeah, 
Yup. Crazy, right, Ryan? Silage is nuts. Wait, whoa, whoa. What did you do to the field over there? It looks so much different. Oh, it's where it completely changes the uh, texture look, right? Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, and then uh, we'll see what, um, how are the bales popping out? Are they popping out of there pretty good? Hold on. Or have no bales popped out of there yet? No, a few have popped out. Uh, just one grass bale popped out. Now I have the uh, alfalfa windrow bale. A windrow bale? What? That's that? literally what it's called. Alfalfa windrow bale. See if we can wrap it. Drive it back there and... Do what happens. What are they, 120s or 240s? What are you making? 220s. Okay, thank goodness. So we would have to make more just to see. Finish off this row, spray it out. I'm gonna go grab a bale wrapper to see what wraps. Yep. It changed color where I did it. Mm hmm. Yeah, see how this, uh, if it wraps. If it wraps, then uh, we'll give her cycles, see how it harvests. And we haven't had grass in this field, so I couldn't tell you which is better. I'd have to go into the XML file and see what it is per hectare or per acre, uh, what he has it for. So, unless anybody already knows uh, what the yield per hectare is. Or acre. I haven't looked at it yet. This thing says it's a Beardy Farms alfalfa wind road, even though we didn't even wind row it. 6,000 liter bale? Yeah, there's two of them. The one on the side is a grass one. The two actually on the field are the off of winter ones. <clears throat> yeah, you can already see it kind of growing. I mean, if this thing pops up a couple times a year, you can harvest grass a couple times a year and, you know, see what the yield is. But I'll just look in the XML so I can actually see what it is. I don't need, I don't need to actually take the time to do it. Coming on back. Super curious if we can, uh, yeah, come with a uh, bell wrapper. Where are you going? Come to me, Beavis. Don't come, butthead. Watch out for that fence, too. See you coming right for it. <laughs> yeah, I hit it every time because I can't, I can't see it. It's we're just we should just put a building over it. Don't run, into the, don't run into the mower. <laughs> I'm moving around it, okay? You can do it. I might get stuck on the rocks on the on the path. Probably. So curious. Is it gonna bail? Will it bail? So 
Sounds like a YouTube channel. Will it bail? Yes. The answer is yes. It will bail. So it's a grass product that doesn't use a roller. Okay, gotcha. Here, I'll bring you the bail. Want a bail? Yeah. Here you go. Just stick it in front of it. Just throw it in there. What do you mean? You want another one? Mm, no, I don't think that's the same one. Doesn't matter. We'll turn it into a silage bale. The true test. Okay, th this one is grass. Yeah, it just says alfalfa wind road fermented now. Wow. Fermenting. Cool. All right. I guess we can turn. Well, at least we'll have two different types of salad fields. Okay. So. That one would have to be sprayed. I'm okay with spraying because there's bigger sprayers than there are rollers, right? Just get a bunch of Rubicons, right? But. And we can make our own fertilizer, so that's not that big of a deal. We Purple's kind of cute. And we can bump, right? I'm just trying to see what it does. We're safe to bump. Pigs are pigs have got some food. Sure. Deep need water. Beat me to it. Okay. Let me know when they're watered. Yeah, no, they're good. We gotta make sure we spray uh, spray the spray the field over there on the, the big field before we bump. So the big field has to be sprayed before you bump anymore. Grass goes the full length, or else it's gonna be screwed on the harvest. Then that way you can sync it up with your rolling. Okay, let's take a look at the alfalfa. Did it do anything? Might take more than one month to grow. This is harvested. Well, next month is the last month you can do it. Because it's from April to July, I think. So it only grows once a year? That's ass. No way. Alfalfa sucks, but... Alfalfa equals zero. Hell knows. Yeah, April to July. Yeah, if it's April to July, it only lets you do it once? And you can grow it all the way up until November, but you can only harvest it from April to July. So we might get two harvests a year if it does grow back. Why would anybody grow that? I don't know. I don't know. But we'll play with it some more. We'll see what it is. I mean, obviously, we're probably missing something, but... Yeah. We're probably missing something, dudes. It's just another cool crop, I guess, in some sort. But if you're... Maybe if you need something for alfalfa, maybe, for the... I think certain things eat alfalfa, but I'm not sure if they have a bonus modifier. What the hell is wrong with that field? A lot. The field up top, it's all, like, messed up, dudes. Okay. All right, guys. I need to get out of here. It's been a long day. I've been streaming for, like, 11 hours and blah 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 something we've been streaming here for almost six and we streamed on youtube for six so yeah 12 hours we've been streaming 12 hours total today it's, oh, been a like long, that. it's been a long day i already completed one challenge on youtube so if you guys don't know and you're watching right now and you want to check out our youtube where we also stream um during the uh, 12 o'clock pacific standard time by afternoon so we stream there for a few hours and then we come over here and stream on Twitch and we play farm some over here at nighttime. So yeah, we're on both. Make sure you guys head over and hit follow. That's where I do all my videos. All the VODs from this stream will always be saved over there. So that way Twitch doesn't delete them after 30 days or anything like that. But uh, dudes, it's been great. And I appreciate you guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. Honestly, we had a lot of fun tonight. Just hanging out, drinking some beers, kicking back and uh, offending people. You know what I mean? So we do. Ending people. <laughs> yeah. 
That's what you get. One person at a time. One person at a time. Let's go. Yeah, dudes. It's been good, man. Thank you guys very much for all the new subs as well. Appreciate that, guys. All the new followers that came in today. And uh, you guys be safe this weekend if I don't catch you. And um, yeah, we will catch you guys on the next one, bros. Peace out, dudes.